everybody welcome to 20 sides to every story uh tonight is friday you know what that means it's fa 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 forbidden lands friday burr, burr, burr. we are playing forbidden lands or oh, i guess it's free league friday but either way but also we have something else going on yeah <laughs> it is the affiliate anniversary wow gee whiz i'm gonna open it up right now to alex tell us a little bit about what that means especially to him it means that six years ago we had 50 followers and some other metrics <laughs> and it grew quite a bit it's a little bigger uh, that little that 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 little that little uh, stream ended up bringing a lot of people together. So, I mean, that alone, right? I would say that, that it would, hopefully it was a, a successful mission that uh, you had. So I'm happy that you did it. I'm sure it was a, a lot of other people are. Getting myself to this point, being able to play <laughs> Forbidden Lands on a Friday. Yeah. That was the goal. <laughs> Oh, well, if that's the case, then you're peaking right now. Yes. So this game, this game is peak. Yes. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> Either way, uh, thank you very much. Uh, those of you that are out there, uh, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming by and checking us out. We are uh, going to be getting started shortly. Uh, but first, if you haven't already, please join our Discord. Uh, that's right. We have a Discord. Uh, we'd love for you to come by and chat with us uh, even tonight after. If you would uh, if you would like, you're more than welcome to come on by and have a few uh, beverages of choice. And um, come in and enjoy yourself as we chat about all things tabletops and whatnot. Um, uh, I guess uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started uh we are playing forbidden lands uh tonight uh, the group has just um wow uh, the group has uh found themselves uh kind of this bakery that uh, they've come across and uh they've also come across a bit of uh some items uh, that might help or hinder them along the way they are headed north uh looking to find uh gold and allies to assist them in their mission to um get back uh things that were taken from them uh, either way uh, uh that's kind of the overall kind of story of what's going on but we're gonna get a little bit more in depth uh it is now time for character introductions um I'm going to ask you to introduce your character because it's been a while. And then I'm going to ask you to tell us a bit about your character's childhood. Take us back. Uh, take a little trip down memory lane. Let us know what your character was like when they were a little kiddo. Do I have a volunteer to begin? That's right, Casey. Go ahead. Thanks for volunteering. Oh, I was volunteered. <laughs> so hi, I'm Casey. Uh, I am playing Fluffy. Uh, Fluffy is a wolfkin. Uh, he is a druid. Uh, and he, when he thinks back on his childhood, those two long years ago to his childhood, um, it's uh, he was a little bit, a um, little rough and tumble uh, when he was uh, running with his pack out uh, in the Groveland woods. Uh, he was uh, deemed an outcast for his uh, uh, somewhat loose views on personal property. Uh, he had acquired some daggers and some sleeping poison, and his uh, grandfather had uh, passed on. And there was some blame thrown around, and he was, uh, you know, chased off into the forest with a kind of "get out of here and take those suspicions with you" attitude. Uh, he made his way uh, through the forest and stumbled across a um, a walled town uh, with uh, humans primarily. He 
uh, sort of uh, got himself uh, accepted into their community uh, on uh, the grounds that he would uh, hang out uh, near the woods and kind of be the shepherd of uh, the uh, uh, flock there. Made him a bit uncomfortable being in the open grounds. Really preferred his forest home or his walled home. But uh, yeah, that's uh, where it is. And then, of course, he met his good friend Rope not long ago. A little bit of a scuffle there. And then that's brought him forward to this point. Uh, while he was hanging about in the human town, probably not quite childhood at this point, like just on the cusp of being an angry teenager, he met his uh, his mentor, Dirt who uh, taught him all about the druidic ways and that he could become a bear someday. Life gold achieved. Uh-oh. Getting reports that the overlay is funicky. Looks okay to me. But. That's me and Dahl are swapped. Oh, that's what it is. Oh. Well, thank you very much. I am Rook. Uh, <laughs> so yeah it's good because even the character the players don't know who their characters are at this point so <laughs> well thank you very much up next i'm gonna ask rope please tell us well no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> well let me tell you a thing or two about a thing or two you got your old man rope here hi everybody i'm Daw. But Daw is not here right now, because right now it's Rope, the rider without a ride. The jockey without the horse, one might say. It's a little bit like I lost my sense of purpose in this circumstance, because I have this whole identity as, you know, a horseman, and there's no horse here, so it's kind of weird. But and that's neither here or there. You know, the nice orcish fellow I am and growing up in a very orcish type of group it's pretty much straight out of the womb you're in work like all right little one I know you understand you just learned to walk like three days ago but I need you to tend to stables I need you to go do this thing this thing and that thing and oh boy it's like that for like the first two years of your life and then it's like all right boy now you know how to do a thing or two about a thing or two here have this sword in hand so it's very, you know, I'll like, put it lightly, it's in the spare, the whole details. Very militarized, one might say. And you learn a thing or two in this whole group you're a part of, such as, hey, Rope, you know those fellas with the pointy ears or those fellas with the, ne the big old long beards? Yeah, fuck them. They're assholes. They're the whole reason we're in this shit. And you got to learn that, boy. So it's, it's that kind of deal. But, you know, sometimes you have different opinions from the big boss man. And, you know, I was one such fella when I got. How old are you getting fluffy? Like six or something? I'm 14 now. Oh, 14 plus another four. When I was about that age, I was like, you know what, big boss man? I'm sick of your shit. I'm tired of putting up with your nonsense and us drilling all the time. Why don't you do something different? And he's like, you little bastard. You finally come stepping up to me, the big boss man himself. I was like, you're goddamn right I am. And then he absolutely wrecked me. Got gnarled up my face, lost a tusk. And it's kind of a guy like, it's, well, it's not pretty at first, but you know, over time you learn to just shave it down. Keeps it nice. I keep it as the memento of my time by proving myself to others. And, well, that's probably all I can say about my childhood. Unless you want to get into extreme details about other parts of it, I won't take up too much of your time. He's Louise. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, it's very interesting that you got in a fight with that, with your big boss man. Uh, thank you very much, Rope. Next, I'm going to ask Mr. Thorn Price to let us know about his childhood. Uh, hello. And about himself. I'm playing Merkel Thorn Price, a goblin peddler. Uh, he is uh, adventuring and joined this group in hopes of um, being able to 
earn some money, um, earn some wealth that he might use to jumpstart building a community uh, for goblin folk and other misfits and such. Um, some of that maybe is motivated by his childhood. He grew up as a wild and free uh, goblin amongst a, a clan that was always on the run, always uh, traveling about uh, where they lived in the Fang Woods. And so he's sort of a, he, he, it was a happy time to be amongst uh, folks similar to him, uh, probably the most, the, the least uh, like an outsider that he ever felt was being among his own kind. But um, he's always been trying to like work back towards that. So um, yeah, that's a bit about him. Thank you. Uh, last but not least, we have Alf here. Alf here? Hi. I'm Jenna. I play Alf here. Um, she is a half-elf rogue. Uh, she initially joined the party because, much like how uh, Ropes lost something of his, uh, she lost something of hers and shows she would like to get it back. Uh, so that's kind of how she ended up roped in with these guys. As for a, uh, what her childhood was like, um, I'd say like first half was like, like pretty normal, pretty like, I'd say average, maybe like a little like, you'd get like a bit of a stare because she was, like, the only, like, half-elf in the village, but overall, like, like friendly, no, like, no bad memories. But the thing about a half-elf is you live a lot longer. So she was still a kid, like, as her friends grew up, and so, like, and it was, like, a small town, so it was, like, there wasn't, like, a steady flow of people, you could say. Um, so, like, once her friends grew up, it was, like, she was kind of left to her own devices so it was just kind of like it went from like being super normal to then all of a sudden her friends like being adults so she she kind of that's how she kind of would start like kind of sneaking around finding her own fun and just kind of maybe being a little bit of a hellion um and also because she would hear stories about her who her father being an elf she was always curious about the outside world so she would always like whenever it was safe she would like always try to like peek outside the walls and stuff so she was definitely like a little explorer um but otherwise nothing i mean besides that one time where she saw like someone getting beat up in one of the other character introductions that we did um her Childhood, I would say, was fairly normal, just very extended. <laughs> I have question. Yeah, what's your question? Didn't your grandmother get turned inside out? Not as a child. Oh. That was later. As a young adult. I'm 40 now. <laughs> God damn, you're 40? I'm yes. Fu- and you look like you're what, like twelve or something? She probably looks like she's like like twenty, twenty one. <laughs> God uh, I don't look great for my age then. Uh, <laughs> I'm forty six. Thank but you yeah, very much. <laughs> Uh, and thank... girl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no no no. Uh, thank you. Uh, and thank you, uh, Lyra, uh, for that ray roll or boon for the players. You get that. Remember that uh, gives you a plus uh, two to your dice, uh, plus two dice to one of your rolls. So remember that if you need it. Uh, also, uh, in that case, I'll just let you know we could also help out the GM with a, a re roll, which allows me to push. Or even better, you could send set up a wandering encounter. They're talking too much, and we talk a little bit in the on this in this game. So you want to see some action? Just drop in a wandering encounter. I have two books full of them that I could. We'll look them up real quick, and we'll just wreck them. So you you 
you want to see that it's all it's up to you it's in your hands so be nice out to all those people out there guys and to me here we go <laughs> where you find yourself is um it is you find yourself uh it is morning some of you have had a uh, great sleep others of you have not either way uh it is the 10th of spring rice uh clear skies as you kind of look out you can kind of see uh, but there are no birds chirping it is ex actually it's extremely uh windy uh, you could really smell the coast the, those waves as you kind of step outside and it is a bit of blood a, a blustery day uh you go and uh as you look around there is something that um each one of you has happened i'm going to ask you a bit just for a little bit of flavor but uh we'll go ahead and start with alex alex your character mr thorn price what does his dreams normally consist of give me just one a few little hints of things maybe that you might be dreaming about this morning he often dreams about being naked in a forest of mushrooms all right uh you that happens uh mm. and as you look around uh fluffy is there with you oh and he looks at you and he kind of gives you he, he's he's like do not worry do not worry there is nothing to be ashamed about here you know i tell me i i'm very interested in what you think a community should be here have a mushroom and before you know it, you're, talk you're talking about all these cool things. And he's so interested. And he's like, you're just having this beautiful conversation in the buff with your best bud, Fluffy. So that's kind of what's going on in your dream as you awake this morning, to this windy day. Uh, how fear? Uh, what, what do you normally dream of? Oh, we'll, we'll come to you last. Rope. What do you normally dream of? <laughs> You know, probably a very mundane thing, like kind of sitting in the backyard, like just light shirt, pants, and just hacking away at some firewood. Okay. Um, Fluffy would come up next to you and kind of set up a step next to you and just kind of sit there. And he would start a fire, and you guys would just chat about chopping wood. And he would tell you how much that he actually enjoys uh, fire and the smell. Just you any do? fire. Y yes, actually, it is really good. Oh, did you is, do? Oh. I also like fire. You do. That is so interesting. Tell me all the ways where you can create fire. So you. Oh <laughs> boy. <laughs> so you guys. That's right, buddy. And so you're just talking about all that stuff. And you have a very pleasant sleep uh, as uh, maybe the shutters kind of jangle as it's a bit windy and you kind of get rustled awake. Uh, how fair? What do you normally dream about or what are you dreaming about this morning? Um, I'd say normally her dreams involve some kind of like new location out in like the wilds like she she's always wanted to explore so i imagine she's always imagining like different places whether like just like real or imagined being out there got like a nice like light light tan leather notebook that maybe she's like scribbling around in got her like gear on her or daggers mm -hmm. sent to the sense of something like kind of penny irony in the air and just kind of just sitting on like maybe on this one she's like sitting on a hill just you know sketching about so it's a very like pleasant it's a very nice that sounds like a very nice dream you hear this muffling coming behind you and you look back and it's it's fluffy and he has kind of strapped over his shoulder it looks like this like writhing like moving bag that's on his shoulder and he's just waving to you and he's hopping along and he goes and he sits there and he feels like this and drops the bag and it's moving and it's muffled and he takes it out and he smiles and you look down and it's this rust brother this rust brother that you actually recognize he has his mask on and a horn that's kind of sticking out and fluffy says 
I brought this for you. We can kill him together. For me? Really? Yes. In fact, oh. I will let you have the first slice. All right. And so she'll go, she has two daggers, so she'll take out one, pass the other on to him. Well, she's like, okay, wait, would you like the vintage one or the one I repaired myself? Uh, well, your choice. Okay. I'll take I the one I repaired. You. The, you, you probably want the nicer <laughs> one. So she'll give, she'll uh -huh. give him the, the pitted vintage one. She's like, okay. Hmm. Would you, should we turn this into a hunt? I would love that. <laughs> All right. I think it'll make things way more interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will cut him loose. Do you see the fear on his face? And yep, like, and go. And it was like, as soon as he goes and you're about to like run, you just like, maybe the door kind of opens as someone's awake and you kind of wake up. And you are all kind of greeted by this sleepless uh, Fluffy that is awake. Uh, go ahead and I will leave you to it. Hello. Good morning. You seem to be a... Uh earlier riser than usual normally like to stay in a little bit i'm having trouble sleeping every time i close my eyes i think i might not wake up again until spring it's spring now it's spring right now it's <laughs> it's like a month is called spring rise where you rise in spring i know <laughs> i don't want to sleep for a whole year oh next spring that would be mm. too long yes you know it's funny. I actually, I had a dream and you were in it. No, I was on the roof. Um, what were you doing on the, the roof? I was thinking and practicing climbing. Should I become a bear again? I want to be able to climb the wall. What would it make more sense to practice climbing as a bear by being a bear i mean if you're just coming as yourself what difference does it make if you climb i was pretending to be a bear while i climb i don't think i'm going to turn back into a bear for a little while i need a pen and some ink and another claw well, uh, like a bear claw or any claw or okay. beak talon i was gonna you say know we're in a bakery we could make a bear claw you know, that actually was bringing up an interesting point. Uh, this morning, I'll see him going out hunting. What right. my dream was about. That sounds like such fun. You were hunting in your dream, Matt Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you hunting? What, what was your game choice? Oh, the... Um, Stems and the most seeds. The most difficult of game. I'll leave it as a surprise. Maybe you'll find out one day. Oh. Well, perhaps today might be the day, because I was thinking of going out to get us, you know, as much as Mr. Thorne Price, as much as I appreciate your herbal cookings, we need some meat in the diet. So I'm just thinking, we got to spice it up a little bit. Why don't we get to have some nice, fresh meat to add to the stew? That would be nice. All of the little dough boys are gone. <laughs> Where did you eat them all? Because there was quite a few. Wasn't there like 20? It I'll, was a long night. I, I opened the door and there's just like, they're all just gone. It's just crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There is a unless unless something had moved, there is still this wrapped up dead body of a halfling that's near isn't the front the, of the door. Isn't he in the tree? Up in the tree? Oh, you put him up in the tree. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. right. Sorry. We, we okay. gotta keep it away from bears. He's definitely Other banging. His, you can see him kind of dangling off in the distance. Can we do something about that? That's kind of fucked up. We can turn mm. him into the town and get our reward. Oh, but true. we don't. We really don't know if he's still wanted by the town by any means. Uh, I mean, a demon worshipper. 
We could save maybe the head and throw the rest into the ocean. Because we're by the coast, right? Yes. In fact, okay. uh, Thorn Price has gone down to fish multiple times. That's right. Throw okay. the body down there, please. I got to <laughs> do work down there. <laughs> well, Why wouldn't it just attract fish? I'm not going to eat fish to eat a person, damn it. We ain't doing that. <laughs> It's the great circle of life. Something has already eaten a human so many times down the line. Uh, you just don't know it. I am inclined <laughs> to agree to with like Ops. Bacon. <laughs> Put, can we please? All right. Like he like he gets his armor on his helmet. He like he grabs his bow. I'm gonna go hunting. Deal with that, please. It's freaking me out. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So it sounds like one of you is going hunting. Uh, Mr. Thorn Price, are what are you fishing again, or what are you what are you thinking of doing this morning? Um. Remember, there's always an option to go hunting as well, with or without that other person. I would. Yeah, I'd probably go fishing again. All right, sounds good. Um, Fluffy, what, what are you up to this morning? Fluffy is going to rest to recover his strength, even though his wits will be slowly draining away. Sure. All right. Um, and uh, Alfair, what are what are you up to? Uh, well, I suppose she'd be trying to figure out how to dispose of a body. Sounds good. That sounds good. The practice. They all sound like they're good. Some... All right. Okay. So first, uh, we're gonna ask. Um, we will ask Fluffy. What does your rest look like? What are you? What are you doing? Uh, I think he's just basically prowling around the bakery, and as he's prowling around the bakery, he's like checking the windows and such, and he's still like got the idea that he's going to turn this into some sort of small fortress. So mm -hmm. you can see him just like reinforcing the shutters and like searching all like the little nooks and crannies and like coming out like this was either a rat dropping or a raisin <laughs> spicy a bit spicy raisin <laughs> all right either <laughs> sounds good um <laughs> Uh, let's go next to uh, Mr. Thorn Price. Mr. Thorn Price, you headed down that kind of path that you've uh, taken uh, down a bit side of a cliffway, and you find. Uh, are you going to that same fishing hole, that same fishing spot, or are you trying somewhere else? Same place. Okay. Well, uh, when you are ready. You can give me a survival roll. And is there a bonus for the fishing gear? Uh, yes, that will be in your uh, gear bonus. So you have your one color for your base, second color for your skill, and third color for any bonus you get with gear. Uh, let's see. I think this fishing gear is on loan from uh, Jenna, your character. Do you know what the bonus is? Uh, it was for which one? The, um... the fishing, fishing gear, I believe, is one. The pole is plus bonus. one. Yeah. Plus one. Yep, plus one. Okay. I have one success. All right. Uh, sounds good. Uh, you are able to find... Uh, actually, you tell me what kind of fish. Uh, what does that success look like? You're able to get a unit of fish food. You get a unit of fish. <laughs> but either way, what kind of fish are you, you catching today? Um, maybe a like a pike. Okay. Uh, you find a nice pike, kind of a long kind of fish. Uh, it fights a bit, but you you found this. Maybe a bit relaxing as you kind of bring it on in. It takes a bit. It's a good fight, but 
maybe it, the reward is just as great as the fight. So you are able to bring back uh, some fish. Um, okay, we are going next to Halfir. What? How are you um, doing? I think if you're looking to dispose of, are you just? You can tell me what you're doing, and then we'll see if it requires a roll or not. Well, I'm realizing you don't have to now... go into big detail if you don't want to. It's up to you. Oh, really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, would ropes? Would ropes have let her let uh, let her borrow his his axe? Uh. I mean, it's a bit of a chip in it, but you can go ahead. I don't know what you're going to use it for, and I don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and she goes off, goes over towards the body. Okay. So the axe <laughs> oh. thing, we got it. Yep. All right, we're not going to require a roll. You're able to do whatever. You, it's not going to be putting up a fight, so... You're good with whatever you in your head you do. She'd be surprised if it did. <laughs> <laughs> be a major bummer, huh? All right. Uh let's go to the hunting. Rope. Where Wait. where what part of this uh forest have you found yourself? I probably I'm trying to remember myself orientating which way is north and which way is south. I probably would have gone more westward, deeper into like a Bigger thicket of forest that's just west of our cabin. Sure. Can't go east because that's where uh, the fish is, and that's not what I'm hunting. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it's a redwood, a uh, bit larger as you're moving further. These trees of, I mean, exponentially larger as you go further in. The, uh, these uh, trees the just keep getting bigger and bigger everywhere I go. How old are these bastards? <laughs> All right. Yeah, as you, you come up across a clearing, give me a survival. All right, let's have a look around here. What type of animal's been lurking in the area? Two successes. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what are you using to... Uh... My short bow. Sounds good. Get, roll me a d6. That would be a six. Um, okay. Uh, you can re-roll this once if you'd like, but uh, there is a deer that kind of scoots across that you see. Would you like to re-roll it or are you like, you're happy with that deer? I think a deer is a plenty good animal. It's got some good hide on it. It's got some very good meat. All right. I will well, stick with the deer. It sits there a bit quietly. Uh, I'm going to ask for a marksmanship roll. I will pull out the short bow, set it myself, and line up the shot. And let's see. I got to look at what the short bow does. That one. That's good. That's good. Marksmanship is a three. That's right. And arrow will be loosed. Uh, one success. One success. You go ahead and shoot it. You pop it right in the uh, side. It gives out a scream, and then it uh, falls to the ground. Uh, Maybe every once in a while you'll hear it kind of move a bit and twitch. You go up to it. You finish it off, possibly. Uh, and you have yourself a, a large deer. Now this deer will give you, after you've kind of uh, quartered it and whatnot, skinned it. You're going to end up getting, as far as units, you end up getting five units of meat. And three pelts. You take it takes time for you to do it. You can either choose to do it here 
are back at the camp. Either way, I, where, where, where are you doing that? I go in, I look at it, it's like, well, this is going to be a great eats tonight. Go for my axe. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I really should have borrowed one for daggers. I'm going to have to carry you all the way back, aren't I? Well, shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And it's, I'm going to make the long hike back because I have no other weapons other than my bow. Sounds good. You are able to make it back. It was a successful trip. Uh, sun is high in the sky when you get back. Uh, you are all uh, returning. Uh, with uh, kind of goodies in hand and you've all either, you know, or whatever else you've been doing, tasting the raisin slash rat poop, and you all return midday. Is the tree cleared off yet? <laughs> Here. Uh, oh, yeah, you said no roll. Uh, if he looks up, he would see that the body is gone, and she would she would be back, axe at, or at her side, cleaned off, um, and she probably would be using one of her daggers to kind of like just pick some red gunk out from under her nails. <laughs> What's wrong, Egg? <laughs> hey, I might need one of your daggers to process this, this deer. Oh yeah. I'll give you the, I'll give you the vintage one. It's the nicer one. And she's going to hand it to him. Oh, and here's your ax back. And she gives that back. I look at it, I inspect the handle. How clean did you keep it? Uh she she would have like tried to make sure it stays clean. Okay, okay. Good. Good. <laughs> so uh like yeah, she's probably like putting it on like a table that's outside, like he's starting to work with the uh, dagger he's got. So where'd you uh put the poor bastard? Oh. Uh and she's gonna kinda point like to the to the west there 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 <laughs> she just like she just keeps going <laughs> so like arm arm leg leg head torso tab deal I counted six stairs um, I mean, there's more. Um, you said to like get rid of it, so I wanted to make sure it was gone. No one, no one's going to know. And like, he's probably like halfway in this tier, and like as she's describing this, he's like, "Okay, all mm -hmm. right, uh, yeah, this is gonna be good, uh, good to be for tonight. I think Mister Thorbrest can have his way with this thing." So fresh. Uh huh. Sell these belts later too, you know. <laughs> uh, Mister Mr. Mr. Thorn Price, uh, it is midday. Are you choosing to come on back? Or are you going to stay out and fish some more? Yeah, he's got the pike like over his shoulder, and he's slowly making his way up the hill and back to the cottage. All right. It is now midday. What do you all like to do? Uh, you come back and you would see uh, the, the deer has now been kind of quartered and whatnot. Uh, when you return, every he ha uh, he's kind of separated all the nasty bits away. And you got some good flanks of, uh, of meat when you return. So that wouldn't take the day to do the, or this quarter no. day. To... No, we're going to say that that was that quarter day. So it is yep. now midday. Yep. Hmm. Well, I better get busy with the cooking. There's a lot of meat here to prepare. Ooh. I might be able to train in uh, for the new quarter day. One, two. Yeah, I got some time. I'm a little dirty, but I can do some training as well. 
All How about right. you, Fluffy? What are you gonna do for the quarter of day? I I don't know. I, I little I'm not sleepy yet. <laughs> oh buddy. <laughs> I think I'll I don't know, do some stuff. Make the bakery nice. So he'll try and train talent uh quartermaster. Sure. Which makes prepping camps nice. Sure. Okay. So uh I did I first heard a cooking uh uh your cooking night. You I believe we've uh said that you have kind of everything there. Um starts the heat. You getting some wood or you wanna Sure. Some price. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you don't want to get back into that rock, huh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, sounds good. Uh, you are able to uh, convert uh, up to twelve units of food uh, into, I mean, twelve units of meat or whatever into food. So. Uh, you have what I believe six units of food of dice that you could pretty much give away, uh, at the end of this day or after this, uh, the end of this, uh, pretty much day. That's right. Um, we're going to go ahead and go next to fluffy. I'm uh, a wits roll is what we're looking for. Roll the wits. Boop. My successes. You got a success. I have a That's success. what you need. Uh, quartermaster. So what are you I, doing as you're training? Uh, so basically, he's just going around and like tidying the place up and like, hey, would it would be better if this was over here. This, we could fit more bedrolls in if we do it this way. <laughs> We're going to sleep head to toe. And as you do that, an added bonus of having, and we'll just, it's fitting to do it here. That is bonus of like visiting your stronghold and getting a sleep, uh, sleeping at your stronghold for a night. Is that everyone gets? You get you get a you get a willpower point. So if you slept uh, last night, you all get a willpower point. So you could add that to your uh, list, and you could thank Fluffy for all the hard work that he's done <laughs> as he stayed awake. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going yeah, next. Uh... <laughs> we'll go ahead and go next to Rope. Rope, what are you up to? Uh, I will trade for X Fighter 2. Sounds good. I will take my not dirty X anymore and make it dirty again. A lot of hacking into different things. Here's the sure. width roll. We have a success. That's what you need. Uh, what does it look like as you are kind of training? It's probably kind of like a big, like one of those big old redwoods sitting out and just working on the technique for properly splitting this axe. On. He's more trained in archery than he is with the axe, but now with constant just like find the spot, find the spot. He's like kind of like those, like not like the yeah, axe competitions type of deal where you're like, mm -hmm. we're going to see how good you swing this axe. And like chop, 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 chop type of deal. Get and nice little yeah. cuts in there. Yeah. The, and you're able to just like the bark just comes like off like butter now. Like you're able just to like you're able to do that. And you, you're, you've you worked at it enough. I mean, you've worked at it for hell 12 hours at this point. And you're really kind of getting it down and maybe to the point where you could picture that like enemy. Um and just for a moment, like as you're fi as you're meditating and doing this, you just see those those golden eyes once more, those kind of orangey eyes in the distance, kind of give you a quick nod as you're just going and doing it. Uh, Alex, the, the oh, sorry, go ahead. Absolutely, the direction, and I somehow see the head of the halfling just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> <was> like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
She might. Uh, I I imagine like not only would you see it, but she probably like put it somewhere like really creepy, so it's like it's peeking out, party. peeking out, peeking out through like some roots or something. Like just. Or it's like real... one of those, those hollow trees with a hole in the center, and so yeah. you just look in, and she's just. Like, oh my God. Yeah, mm-hmm. like just really uncool. Like just. What the. F- and by the way, this de- now this cottage just sounds like a place like in Dolmenwood where you go up to it and Alex describes this cottage that you go up into in the woods and there's just like body parts that you find like all around it. That's pretty much what you have done. This is the origin story. <laughs> Alex, I'm going to go back to you. Alex, what does that cooking look like? What do you do to this this food? How does it how does that look? How does it smell? Can you give me some I make love Details. to this food. I yeah. throw some butter down in the pan and like thin slices of I create like a batter, you know, and it's it just magically transforms it into sustenance into a, a meal. Yummy, yummy goodness. Yeah, yummy in your tummy. A meal that can last multiple days because <laughs> it's just so good. Uh, and that probably smell kind of really helped you. Uh, fluffy probably with your kind of training as well. It was just like this is an added smell that you needed. All right. Uh, finally, we're going to help here. I would like to level up to level three of Path of the Killer. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Things will get very interesting very fast. <laughs> you guys have the opportunity to level up quite a bit, so that's good. We'll have to put that in action soon. So I think for her to practice this, maybe she'd just kind of be she'd be going around to each of the different pe like to like everyone in the party who are doing things. And she's gonna like maybe try to focus in on some kind of like like action like like some kind of like rhythmic act maybe like just like a little like kind of like like light snapping of the fingers or like a click of the tongues like some kind of like signal and it's going to practice like when she does that giving a suggestion to like see if she can like get people like to do things so maybe like for rove she'd be like you should hit that thing and like it'll be like like a bush like something like that doesn't make sense to help with his training or like for the cooking like maybe she'd be like what if you split it into two pots or like like just really like random things just to see if like just to see if people will listen okay go ahead and, and give me that wits roll it's a wits okay mm-hmm. fingers crossed there's a success. Ooh. Okay, you are level three, Path of the Killer. <laughs> so I guess everyone, these little stupid things that she suggested, like she spent time talking to you, and like, you know, okay, I guess that sounds like it's a good idea. <laughs> sure, why not? Sure, like. I'm trying to think what pots. I would do for Fluffy. Like maybe like. Maybe, maybe when like he's saying like, like, like foot to toe, like or like head to toe or whatever, she's like, "What if you did this?" And she like everyone is just like made into a circle, like all the like the beds are in a circle, like totally like unorganized, just like playing around. <laughs> and at the time, it seemed like okay. And I'm going to say about 15 minutes after all these suggestions, like you look, you kind of shake your head and like, what the hell? Like, why, why did I do that? Like, that was not either way. That was suboptimal or whatever, but it did it. And uh, yeah. Okay. It'll be cold. So um, this is going to be very interesting, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll ask, I guess I'll ask uh, at the end of this kind of, it's a uh, beginning to turn night. Uh, what are you all up to at this point? You've already cooked. Nighttime is evening is approached. The sun is going down. Busy day. A very, I guess, fruitful and successful for all of you. Um, what are you all up to? 
I guess I'll sleep so I can take the watch. Okay, that sounds good. You go ahead and go uh, evening. Uh, you go ahead and take that sleep. Um, uh, the rest of you, what are you up to? Uh, remind me, is it five points to train an attribute? Like mm -hmm. a skill? Or like, yes. Yeah, the skills is five times five. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think I have really anything on my list of things to do right now. I got okay. some XP. I could level up my survival by one point. So I think I want to do that. Um, I'm going to say that you have, have you uh, suc successfully used it uh, last used session it. or this session? Yes. We'll say this session you yes. did it already. Yeah, you did I think, it. I think, I think I forged last session. And then we're I gonna say that session. We're going to say that you're able to go ahead and train in that. Um, uh, Alphir, what are you up to? I don't, I don't know, cause I, I that used up all my exp, so I've, I don't have anything to like train on. That's fine. And if there's something that you don't, I mean, you can just do something mundane. I guess you could put it if you'd like. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm like looking at my stuff, cause the only thing I could think of is fishing or fixing the fishing net, but I, I don't have the fisher skill. Okay. So it's like I can't do that. Hmm. Yeah, the fish and pole. I don't know if you want to know. We have a lot of food now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what that's what I can do. Um, I don't have any more torches. Uh, is there a can I? Is there a way for me to like? Yeah, you go... can go uh, chop some wood with the axe if you'd like. Rob. <laughs> yeah. All right. I need to do some more chopping. It's wood this time. <laughs> I, I don't even question it. Uh, you hear actually set like to, to like on the table. Not a word. Thank you. He goes outside. <laughs> That's good. Uh -huh. and fly, and fly. <laughs> How about you, Fluffy? What are you up to? So Fluffy's taking some of the pots and pans outside, along with some string, and he's going to try and master the hunt by setting up traps once more. All right. right. I'm going to string this along here, and we'll hang this up, and if the they approach, they will hit it, and it will make noise, and then I will bounce upon them from the roof. All right. The roof. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and ask. Uh, we'll go first with uh, Dawson. Rope. Uh, survival training. Yep. Wits. Give me a wits check, please. I use wits to learn the wits. Yes, success. All right, so um, you're able to. What what does it look like when you're doing your survival training? I'd say it's probably like going like he's sitting more time. Like he like has a journal he keeps with him. He's probably like looking into it, reading back on some notes he's made, made some updates to it, of like his like herbal like herbalist notebook, and then he had like a little section for animal hunting. Like he's like writing okay. some tips so you're that he just kind of reflect reflecting. On yep. kind of the things you've done. All right, excellent. Uh, Jenna, how fair? Mm -hmm. Um. So, so yeah. I'm gonna need from you a survival roll. Survival, okay. Survival is wits, right? Mm hmm Okay. You can add that um, bonus for gear to the oh. axe. Yeah, is a is an axe a one bonus? It it's normally a two, but those little dope boys broke it a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> so it's, oh, it's a one. It's a plus it one. It is a one. Okay. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, is it one or zero? So okay. All right. So roll and roll. Uh one success. All right. You get uh two units of wood. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um shoot, I should have looked up what it needs to make a torch i think it's just a unit of wood but at least that's a start i got some wood going got some wood i got uh, some and wood. finally as uh the, the night kind of moves on a bit fluffy uh wits roll that is no successes no successes so like 
carries a bunch of metal and pots and pans out with a bunch of string. There's like a little bit of clatter noise, and then it goes silent out there. And then maybe like as you're coming back after getting your torches, you just see him like slowly untangling himself as he's like wrapped head to foot in <laughs> pots and pans. And he's just trying to like extract one at a time and put it down without everything else jangling. He's like, this did not go well. Uh, you could have always pushed, just so you know that if you wanted to. I didn't know if you wanted to do that. I, not, that that would be bad for me at this particular point. <laughs> <laughs> the point good. of suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Um, night passes and is now evening. I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Thorn Price as you awake. Everyone kind of moves back in. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and divvy up that food at this point before we make uh, some resource rolls. All right. I guess one to each of us. Then we have two left over. Uh, with the one you gave me, I will be at max, so I won't need any more other than the one you just gave. Uh, max is D12, right? Yep. Yeah, so I'm max too. I am only at 10. Okay, we'll I give you another one. Food. Oh, thank you. And then I think I will be Max also. So we have one left over. Are we able to use that as like an auto success for somebody? Um, if you choose to, we can do an auto success. Uh, what I would say is that consumes like that unit of food. But I mean, if you're already maxed out, auto success is auto success. So what I'd say is you have that in the bank. Go ahead and roll. And, if, and instead, if it, someone goes down, you got to, you get to put that one back in. So go ahead and uh, all give me a d12 roll. So As much your... food. I rolled a one. That's oh, bad, uh, right? So Yeah, so then you consume. It was so good. You're probably tasting while you're eating. You know what I mean? That second pot, it, you, it fucked shit up. So <laughs> either way, you have that extra unit so that you it doesn't decline. You're stuck okay. at d d12. How about everyone else? I'm getting that 12. Uh, double eights for both food and water. So All I right. am okay. Great. So then the next thing I was going to ask for is water. I'm good on water. All right. It's We're all good. Two, two it goes good. down? Uh, two or one it goes down. Okay. So I'm down one for water. Okay. That's fine. Water is easy enough to find, but just so you know, just note it. Um, also, uh, something that I need to remember because we don't do too much... Uh, combat arrows uh if you use it if you roll an arrow you use an arrow you have to roll that resource die so for that marksman uh one go ahead and roll your and arrow for, resource and that's for every arrow uh every time you shoot you're rolling an arrow damn all right here we go we are okay for arrow good so that just means either you have enough, or you're able to retrieve it and it's not broken. All right, so it is evening time. Uh, I'm assuming everyone that can sleep is sleeping. Yeah. yeah. All right. As uh, the two of you go to sleep, I guess, Mr. Thorn Price, uh, you are staying up. Mm -hmm. uh, it is dark. You are able to see outside. Uh, Fluffy, uh, what is your wits at at this point, just so that we know? It has become three. Okay. Uh, one by the time I can sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thorn Price, uh, what are you doing this evening as uh, your companions uh, go to sleep? I'd uh, patrol around outside. Okay. If there's a chair or something, I'd probably drag the chair out there and yeah, sit there and just is watch. a chair. Oh. Sure, go ahead and give me a um, scouting roll, please. I should do that. Uh, Fluffy, are you awake as well? I am awake. All right. So I'm gonna say, uh, Mr. Thorn Price or Fluffy, either one of you can do it. Whoever has the highest one is who you probably want to do it. I'm rolling three. Sounds good. 
no success. That sounds good. And then you added, of course, you added your skills and whatnot to that as well. I don't have any skills in scouting. All right. So you said one success? No success. No success. All right. Uh, no pushy? Um, no push. Sounds good. Uh, I am going to ask from you because it is actually a very good idea that you did this. You've been in the area for a bit. You know, things move around and change. So what I am going to ask for you either, even with, you're up at least, can I get from you, um, can you give me a D6, please? Three. Three. Uh, okay. Fluffy. Yes. Can you give me more, please? Get in there. There we are. Can you give me a uh, D sixty six? Red then black. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Night. It seems to be a bit quiet for the night. Uh, however, Merkel. Hey, Merkel. Buffy. Have you ever considered that you could say her name? I never have fear. You really should get some rest, my friend. <laughs> Can't sleep yet. Clowns will get me. Cl clowns? Those two elves. I just can't stop thinking about them. Oh. Right. Well, we're quite far away from them. Yes, as you're they... talking, as you're talking a bit, uh, you would notice that a fog would kind of just rise up from a bit from the ground. Kind of as you're talking throughout the night, it gets it reaches up to about your knee. Kind of this thick little fog as you're kind of chatting. Hmm. Well, we might as well forget about watching we can't see anything anyway let's talk more about your clown problem <laughs> well, i i think perhaps they would be the sort to creep up and peer through the shutters at you while you sleep now ha have you experienced this down. before have they no but they seem the type don't they they do, yes. Why are they like that? Well, it might be that no one showed them any love when they were young. Or perhaps they were spooked by scary clown people themselves when they were young, and they're just paying it forward. That is enough. Maybe uh, I should get some sleep myself. Um, I, I really don't think it's unlikely that they are following us. I will, I will perhaps set some more traps just in case. Oh, you've been setting traps, have you? I have been learning how to. Knots are not made for wolfkin fingers. Okay. My hair gets caught in them and then I have to pull the fur out of my fingers and it is unpleasant you've given up on the bear thing then no but I need a I need a quill and ink and a claw before I try it again 
Uh, let me see what I have. I was more comfortable with you doing that than what you're currently proposing. I have none oh. of these things. Ah. Uh, well, uh, the next time that I speak with a bird, I could perhaps get the quill. And right, I that makes sense. If we, if we got some soot and we mixed it with some oil, then I would have ink. And uh, that seems doable. And then for the claw, well, I suppose that same bird would have claws. Right. So if you should see a raptor, let me know and I will ask it to come here for a conversation and a quick meal. Or a turkey. I would like a turkey. Really getting a lot out of this bird, this one bird. Well, the turkeys are a large bird. It's true, yes. Uh, okay, then. I'm going to go inside. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you could um, give me a wits roll there. Uh, give me a wits roll. As you're kind of talking about. Uh, I'll ask you to give me a wits roll. Oh, Buffy. my wits are lower now. Boop. It says four, four, three. Okay. Uh, just for an instant, you're talking about kind of, you just hear kind of from the distance up. Did you hear that? No. And then it's gone. If you didn't hear it, how do you know what it was? <laughs> what you didn't hear. I assume it was one of the clown children. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Something else? I, um, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I should have borrowed Rope's bow. Well, you could probably borrow it fairly easily. He's a sound sleeper. Oh. I won't tell. <laughs> Go creeping in. Like... <laughs> Try and like reach over rope to reach for his bow and like one arrow. Rope, are you a sound sleeper? Depends on how quiet he is. Oh, it sounds like he's asking for a stealth. Oh, versus you, you, you probably see him in like these like pinstripe pajamas. He's got a little little nightcap on with a little flop down and he's like he's holding his pillow like it's as he's sleeping so I think I think what happens is Fluffy like starts creeping in and like he's still got like at least a couple of pieces of string like caught on him and you can hear like binding him up he's like looking over he's like <laughs> no demons and then he'll cast magic uh, using yeah. cat's paw uh, at okay. one reduced level, which means there's no chance of a failure, but it does burn a willpower. Sure. Burn those willpower points. And and he is automatically one success sneaky as he sort of sneaks his way over. And probably Merkel can see that there should be noise happening, but there's no noise happening at the moment. Uh, give me a scouting. Uh, we're doing an opposed scouting. We're going to say you are at, just for... You know, we'll say that you're at a minus two to your scouting ability. Rope. So sleepy. Success. One success? Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> going. It's not the sound that you're worried about, but you feel a little tugging. <laughs> kind of nudging you awake. <laughs> Just to pull oh. bow. <laughs> it's like as you look under the pillow, that's where the bow is, and he kind of sits up with bow and head. What are you doing? I need the bow. I hear turkey. At this time of night, they're sleeping. They must be sleepwalking. <laughs> I'm not going to. Do you even know how to shoot this thing? I seen you swing a stick before. It's not pretty looking. 
You see, you know, same basic principle. Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh. <laughs> I went to <laughs> Turkey. It's like two in the morning. <laughs> they shoot this turkey it's so bad. <laughs> they should be slow and easy to hit. It's very foggy but... out. They won't see it coming. You're telling me you're hearing turkey noises in the middle of the night when there's fog around. Yes, very sneaky turkeys. I don't think it's the turkey. I don't know. Merkel, do you know what he's talking about? I don't. There's been a lot of strange talk about clowns and turkeys and elves. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> and like, and like he's like standing up in his like pajamas, mm -hmm. like the butt flaps slightly open, and he like kind of pings it back up. You're not taking this from me, but I'm still here. I'll go outside with you to have a look of fuck around. You're talking about these fucking night turkeys in the fog. That sounds like a great way to have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is just fog. It is not blood mist. And like he like grabs his bow mm -hmm. and like he'll just saunter out the door. All right, where's the turkeys? As you kind of go out, um, Mr. Thornpress, are you still outside? Yes. As that is going out, you just feel a little pat. You just feel pat, 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 and just that sensation of it beginning to rain. This is beginning to start as they are kind of moving on out. It's it's raining, folks. I think <laughs> it's not a good night for a turkey hunt. Boom. All right, where the fuck is this turkey? God damn. Wolf face, look at... And then like he probably like starts to rain more and more, and he's in his pajamas. Now he's getting soaked. It is like downpour central has just happened. Is this some kind of sick joke? You took too long. <laughs> they were over there. Uh huh. I look in the direction. It's just fog. It is fog and dark. I knew fog so many of us were going to be awake at this hour. I wouldn't have taken my earlier nap. <laughs> it's fog. It's dark. You can you know, go back to sleep. I will you, find them. You, you know what? Seems and like he, he he like slams the bow in your chest. Oh, you get one fucking shot. Don't waste it. Slap so in your hand. I'm going back to bed. I'll stay awake with him and uh, <laughs> see what Sounds happens. Good. I wring out my hat, my shirt, put it next to the hearth that's in the, probably in the chamber. Mm -hmm. I will say that there's still some warmth from the, the coals in there. Fucking night turkeys. <laughs> you go back to sleep. Meanwhile, Let's go back to the night turkey show. It is complete darkness. How are we moving? No, we're not moving. <laughs> we're sitting by the door waiting for them to gobble. <laughs> okay. Um, sounds good. Sounds like you're not moving, so that's great. Give me a um, survival. You only get one shot. Do not oh. miss your chance oh. to blow. And I'm going to say, uh, Alex, uh, your character, Mr. Thorn Price, is he helping in this circumstance? He's not helping, but he's not hindering. Okay, so you're there. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the bow in. Uh, what's the bow? Uh, plus one, plus two? It's a two. It's two. Well, you're not useful. Only one success. One success. Roll me a d6. A five. A five. I think I know what this is, but <laughs> check anyway. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong book. I know exactly what this is. You are looking at this, uh, Mr. Thorn Price. You don't hear much, you know, it's dark, but you do see 
Wait, wait. A figure. I'm going to let Mr. Thumb Price know that he does see a figure kind of darting oh. kind of around in well, the fog as it's raining in a bit. How about that? You hear a... Sn you hear a... Oh. <laughs> Is that a little piggy? Not as good as a turkey. Better. <laughs> Can I see the piggy? It is. Uh, you see the top of haunch I, of it's it. Dark. As I, can't, a, I can't see. You can't piggy. really see much, but you didn't move, so we're gonna say that there is a bit of glow, and you see kind of from the fire, whatever that you have existing. You do see just the movement, kind of moving around, swirling around in the fog. Kind of going up against maybe a tree, kind of just moving around. You did succeed, so there is, in fact, a boar out there. But you still hear. Mr. Price prices here's a. Rob will be excited if you get this boar. He loves him some bacon. <laughs> Come here, so, piggy. So I'm. Are you taking the shot? So, uh, so Fluffy will will first be scenting the air, uh, right. and uh, taking a few seconds to uh, kick in his uh, uh, wolfkin ability to uh, to mark his prey, and I will spend uh, three willpowers. Okay, that's like for how long? Well, is that uh, so until I hunt something else or kill it, I get an additional three dice on this thing, um, and I can track it pretty unerringly. All right. Well, it's right in front of you. You gonna go ahead and make that marks? I'm gonna need a marksmanship shot from you. Do you get a bonus from that uh, hunting ability that you just did? I do. I get I get three dice. That is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I, I'm not particularly skilled with this bow, so I'm all working on instinct at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is um, five of these, zero of those, and three of those. Yes. I will push it. Okay. <laughs> uh, push and push. Yay! Yes. Two successes. All right. You are able to take this thing down. <laughs> Very good. Uh, as you kind of go, you still hear the gobbling after you shoot it, and it is on the ground. But you did get it. Do you go retrieve it and whatnot? Go retrieve it and whatnot. And all right, you have uh, a boar no, worth. That. Sorry. Go ahead. You have a boar worth four units of meat and two pelts. As you take the rest of the time to quarter that turkey. And I don't know, at a certain point as the, the sun starts, it definitely looks like a boar and does not look like a turkey. And for an instant, the delirium kind of vanishes as you find yourself just like with an extreme headache as the morning kind of approaches. And you are, you've just in the... You just, you got a boar. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Mr. Well, Thorn Price. <laughs> the turkey turned into a boar. Here's your arrow and your bow back. I actually have to roll that. Hold on one second. No, I just did. I did. I got a three on it. <laughs> okay, good. Good. That is the fattest fucking turkey I have ever seen. Is this a better turkey? 
There's no turkey. There's a big fat boar. <laughs> it went uh, gobble gobble. It, uh, the piggy went gobble gobble. You know, I feel like there is some uh, children's activities. I would say otherwise of what sound a turkey makes. Fish or was. Was. I cannot <laughs> speak to the turkey's voice. It, it seems to I, me that we've been out here for far too long. <laughs> <We're> all... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Probably make contact with the halflings soon. We have uh, some pelts. That's good. I see. Go ahead. I was going to say, do, should we bring the head of the halfling baker? Oh, yeah. Yes. No. If we don't bring the head, they'll think we're lying. If no. we don't talk about it, they won't think anything at all about it. Than our reward. We don't even know if there even is a reward. You're the our, one that spout out about rewards. Our reward is this fine cabin that we can enjoy. We, we liberated we, it. Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know how property rights work with the halflings. I suspect if there's a deed and there's a head, they might look backwards and see next of kin, and we'll lose this bounty that we have. We might best that they just think he's still alive or missing or whatever. Buried in six burial spots chosen by Hathier. Well, in any case, I agree with you in the prospect of we've been staying here a little too long. We should probably get going. Uh, this morning, I can go out and grab some wood for camp later, depending if we don't make it to Halfling Camp tonight. We're all still good on food and water. I think wood's our biggest concern right now. Get that, uh, that out of the way in the you morning. That, it, as you say that, uh, also, it is a good morning. There isn't much blood or anything left from the boar, as you know, he chopped it up, because it is ex it is extremely wet. It is a violent storm that's going on outside as it's raining we should like, maybe wait till the end is not coming yeah like like i probably as he says that like he opens the door and it's just, <laughs> it's just not as windy as yesterday but it's <laughs> it's coming down pretty hard uh -huh. perhaps tomorrow might be better <laughs> tomorrow might be better let's sit around and eat bacon today <laughs> That's a good yeah, one for Landia. Hooray! That's a good yummy. All right, so I'm looking for a few things that you can do with pelts. First off, um, as far as uh, pelts are concerned and whatnot, uh, they have a shelf life of a week. So we're going to say that you were. Uh, it was the tenth of spring rise when you caught it. You guys do the bookkeeping on that. I'm not going to hold you to it. But just know that it has a shelf life of about a week before they go bad. Uh, if you look on a, I'm looking here at our um, equipment section. In fact, I could kind of pull it up here. You could go ahead and take a look at maybe some things that you might be able to do uh, with those uh, pelts and, and wood uh, if you have the means and skills. Uh, I'll go ahead and move this here for you. Number of things, we'll go ahead and just hold that there. But if you'd like to look through it, I do have the um, player handbook right here available for you. Um, as we kind of figure out what you are doing uh, this day, uh, it is uh, the 11th. Uh, cloudy, uh, heavy rain, and uh, moderate winds. Um, you thank you for putting that note there. Perfect. Um, yep. What are you all up to in the morning? Hmm. Or if well, anything, you do well, have wood I, as well. I was gonna go get more wood, but I really don't want to do it in the rain. I okay. mean, I'm I'm willing to help because I think I was just gonna try and do it anyway. You're gonna go out of there. Well, fine. 
I'm not bringing the armor, though. I'm not going to get this thing all rusty already. If we're going to go get wood, I just well do it now, but it dries off while we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think my sure. sprained ankle is healed now. Excellent. Yes, uh, you actually feel you kind of through the chopping and whatnot, like even the that night before, you do feel like it's starting to feel a bit better. And today, like you're walking around a bit in the cabin uh, and it feels pretty fine. Uh, also, just a little thing, a little detail that I wanted to let you know, uh, those of you that slept, you do have another dream. And in this dream, Fluffy was there. And once again, he just shows himself to be just a companion that just does that comes through in some way. Or is another good talk or listener or whatnot. Just feel good. We wake up and feeling good about him. Good feelings, good vibes from him. Fluffy, you're the best. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, with this boar, I don't know what we do without you. I mean, I want to have had breakfast bacon. This is pretty sweet. I do not know why it gobbled. Does it taste of turkey? I don't know. Here, have a piece. Here you go. Kidder. Love having this guy around. <laughs> uh, Sundance Kid. Uh, great to see you out there. Hey, Tux. Sundance Kid, thank you very much for that subscription. Uh, six months. Wow. Already six months. Jeez. It's <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. Uh, it's great to see you. Thank you again for that subscription. Uh, all right. So it is the 11th morning. Sounds like there might be some cooking going on. Not sure what's happening. And if it seems like it's more of like a rainy day, it could be that too. We got some, we got two people going out to chop wood. I hear that already. Uh, Fluffy? I am going to make a trap. You're more? You're doing? I'm, tr I'm trying to talent master the hunt again. Sounds I'll good. do this. All right. Uh, those of you going out for wood, uh, I'm going to ask for, since you only have one X, uh, one of you give me that survival roll. The other, you get a plus one for the help. I'm just pointing out the good wood. I have zero survival. So rope. Can you go? Can you give me that survival? You get to add a plus one. You got it. Uh, I don't add the X to this, do I? You do. Oh no, you don't. Right. You do. Yes, you do. We did last right. time. You did this time. All right, let me check X fighter because I think actually, I don't think I do the X part of that for just wood. I think I had some way people, anyways. Mm -hmm. It's too wet, there's not enough good wood, good wood around. It's super chilly, too, as you're kind of doing that. I'm gonna ask since you kind of both of you. Uh, I'm going to need an endurance check from both of you, please, as you're out there. Strength, huh? Uh, we have a success. One success. Okay. You are able to kind of, you're a bit cold, but you're able to kind of hold it together. You're not like shivering or anything as you make it back with no wood. Uh, Mr. Thorn Price, what are you up to? Um, my short, one of the short swords that I have is, a I had a broken point. Could I mm -hmm. repair that? You need the Smith ability to do okay. that. Um, I believe, uh, if you talk about it, I'm sure you would know that, uh, rope has, ta has uh, worked a bit in smithing. If you need something repaired, maybe I actually, talk about it. actually don't have smithing. Oh, you don't? I'm going to take as my next ability. Oh, okay. So Never mind. Chance, yeah. but I need one more experience point mm -hmm. to get Smith. All right. Sounds good. I'll cook up some of the, the meat. Cook the meat. 
So you, I believe that was um, how many units did we say you had? Four meats. Four. Four units of food. Just smells like wonderful bacon. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, go ahead and give me that wits roll for as you are trapping. Uh, Fluffy? Master of the hunt, go! Yay! He did it. I made a trap! <laughs> did you uh, subtract that one wits? Yes, uh, I'm down to three for today. I will be down to two tomorrow. Sounds good. Oh, no. What does that I look mean... like? That what did you do? What anything different this time? Uh, so I think I've I've scaled it down a bit. So I started simple, and I was after like a grasshopper, and like had a little tiny trap set up, and finally caught a grasshopper. And I was like, Ugh. and then I took the grasshopper and I used that as bait, and I caught a little, and I got a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit, and then I like, ah, I have a mouse. <laughs> That's very wow. Uh, it's still pretty cold out there, though, so I'm going to ask for an endurance check oh. from you. Uh, that's a thing. Oh, that's strength, huh? I've got a little strength. I can do this. One success. All right. You are okay. <laughs> I just come back and shake off, like, spray water everywhere. Uh, yes, very Have good. Have a mouse. <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at the chat here. Uh, yeah, they're uh, they're uh, what do you call it? They're camping right now. Lots of fun. Hopefully, no random encounters. Well, I'm gonna let wow. you know that if you have enough points, you can make that happen. In fact, right now you can make it happen. Just go ahead and dump that in. We'd be more than happy to let that to just drop something on them. Also, uh, hey Tux, yes, uh, mouse is good eating for sure. <laughs> and I would, I think at this point, we're going to go ahead and say we're going to take a quick five minute break. But before we go, I just want to let you all know that we, uh, we are celebrating the affiliate anniversary, the six month affiliate anniversary. Uh, we're extremely happy and we're pumped. We're having a great time. Please, if you haven't already, Follow us on Discord. We'd be lo we we'd love to chat with you after the game tonight. We'll be dancing and partying and wearing our party hats and stuff. So come on out and celebrate with us. Uh, we're gonna take a five minute and we will be back shortly to continue camping on this rainy day in the Forbidden Lands. <laughs> See you soon. Hey everybody, we back. <laughs> And we're celebrating, uh, it's Friday, so we're celebrating Friday. But we're not only celebrating Friday, we're celebrating it's Free League Friday. And not only that, but we're celebrating even more because it is Forbidden Lands Friday. And even something even further than that, it is the sixth year affiliate anniversary. Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air but you okay anyway thanks for sticking with us we're back from break uh and what we did is first i want to give a special thank you to lyra for that dm reroll uh we'll be sure to use it uh coming up very shortly uh the group uh throughout this day has decided that they were going to try to make some torches uh we were able to get uh, torches, rope that actually was able to do that. Uh, rope, torches, who are you giving that unit to? Hey, go half fear. This is all yours. It's your wood. You're in the wood. You just need <laughs> a little extra elbow grease. Thanks, rope. Please <laughs> don't kill me in my sleep. Why would I do that? What? Uh... You, you weren't supposed to hear that part. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She'll pretend she didn't hear it. <laughs> We have uh, Rope that actually took a rest uh, as soon as evening. Um, and uh, nighttime approaches. Uh, I'm going to ask everyone to uh, give me a roll, or uh, are you just kind of just giving units of food away for like a free roll tonight, uh, Mr. Thorn Price? 
I think we're probably just giving it away for free. Okay, Rolls. so no just roll for that. Give just give me a roll for water, please, okay. everyone. Can't you sell that food at the halfling village? You are able to do that if you'd like. Fuck yeah. Halflings okay. love ham. <laughs> they do love ham. All right, so give me a roll then, and we can do that instead for food and for uh, water. I'm good. Uh, food, I'm good on water. Let me know if any of you fail. The one or two. Over and Fluffy's like sneaking a little gingerbread man that he like had squirreled away. <laughs> you know, Rope just really liked Mr. Thornbrace cooking a little too much today. He's just like, I'll take that. And he rolled a two. All right. So that's one less uh, unit of food, Mr. Thorn Price. You giving him? I'm sure you're going to give him the chance to bring it back up. Would you like oh. this pig, oh, piggy yeah. tail on a stick that I made for you? <laughs> it's the best part of the pig. That's little pig tail. No bone. Right. As far as um, we're going to say that extra those extra units of food that you have there because we will be moving uh, shortly. It is a normal weight. So we're going to say with those three that you have, it counts as a normal weight. So uh, I just ask that uh, in your bookkeeping that you put it either on you or Bray, your donkey, that those little units have been, uh, or that unit has been uh, applied. It is now evening time. I'm going to uh, rope the you are staying awake. Give me a scouting roll, please, as you uh, and Fluffy. Are you staying awake as well? Yes. <laughs> Fluffy, my by the gods, go to bed. <laughs> I can't. Of course you're I'll asleep now. I'll be awake again too soon. I've just got to make it through to the other side. I'm not sure. I, what's the, the other side of what? Uh, two successes. All right, sounds good. Uh, roll me a d6, please. One. One, okay. One moment. So the other side of what? Just close your eyes and go to bed. You're stressing me out. I can't sleep yet. You're like, you're looking at me, but you're not. You're like looking through me right now. I always look through you. I, I, I'm not sure I follow with that statement 100%, but here, just, yes. just go lay down. Put your head up. Put your head on the pillow, go like spin in circles or something, get yourself comfortable. In the circles, get comfortable. And just go to sleep. You see him like he just like grabs his tail and he's like sitting there just like gnawing on the tip of his tail as he's trying to sleep. Uh, no, don't do that, don't do that, that's not healthy. It's comforting. Uh, in the middle of the night, as you are uh, kind of uh, sitting there, uh, it's still very rainy. In fact, it is a little thundery. Uh, and in the distance, what uh, rope you would hear uh, what it sounds like uh, a lightning strike hit. Uh, you would think a tree probably in the distance, you would hear the, the loud as it kind of splinters and kind of falls. And you would even see maybe a, a, a glint of kind of like light as everything lights up around uh, the cottage for a brief second. That wasn't subtle at all. Oh, shit. We should get that tree. 
Why? It means something. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to at least have a look. Yes. Sure. I'll probably leave my armor, take out an axe, and, like, find a sheet or something and just saunter out a little bit, see if I can see anything other than what's well, already happening. I need to borrow a torch. <laughs> I'll hand over a torch. You should roll that d6 there to see how, how, how many torches I actually made. Yeah. Here we go. Not enough. <laughs> I made one fucking torch. God damn it. There was two pieces of wood. <laughs> 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 that uh, torch every 15 minutes, you'll be rolling a resource day. That's just how it works for light. Um, uh, you are able in 15 minutes to go ahead and get out uh, there. You, th with that scouting roll earlier, you are able to find uh, that uh, kind of mangled uh, tree. It's It's been split in half. You would see that there's fire kind of coming out of the trunk as the rain is still kind of, you know, it's 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 steaming, but there's a still a little bit of it ablaze as you kind of get close, as you get a little closer. Now that is one beautiful piece of scenery that I've ever seen. It is beautiful. Big old tree like this just split asunder in one fell swoop. That is something you don't see every day. Yes, this is a good reminder why you should not wear a helmet in the rain. And that's why I left the armor inside. Yes. I would like that piece of wood. That one? Yes. It let let me get it. You I'm worried you might burn yourself, young one. Hold on. Like I'll use my axe to pry a piece of wood. Wood. Sure. Survival. Just wood. Ooh. Oh, nothing. It's too splintery. It's not one piece. It's so rough. This wood is beautiful to look at. I mean, so. I could push it, but boy. <laughs> My yeah, which is like, that of that. If it's that important to you, yes. Okay, let's just dig my hand on in there. Just try to rip a chunk off. Pushing. No. No wood. Did you take any damage? Uh, I took two. So you get two willpower points. Uh. And you take two, uh, that would be wits, I believe. Yep. For so, what happens is you're just trying to, <laughs> just trying to. I imagine he like, he like he has a piece of wood in his hand. That's a pretty like nice piece that would be perfect for what he's looking for. But he's like so distracted. Like, look at how beautiful that is. See how it spirals up and funnels. Not realizing the burn, like the wood starts just like disintegrate as his hand is starting to <laughs> catch on fire. And like, no oh, shit, and like he holds it back. It's just like a little nub that's smoking a little bit. Does that work? That is maybe a bit small for a staff. Well, if it's if you want to fucking do it, go right ahead. I'm just trying to save you from burning your fur off. I'm trying to be a nice guy. But... And then borrow mm -hmm. your axe. <laughs> You can give me a survival check. Uh, grumble, grumble, axe, grumble, grumble. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop. One success. One success. Sounds good. We are able to get a unit of wood. That's very beautiful. Can you describe the wood? Yeah. So I think he's going for like where the tree split open, like there'd be scorched parks and like maybe a bit of the heartwood 
kind of going up the side, kind of like popped out. And he's going for like one of those chunks that's kind of somewhat rounded out. So when he pulls it out that he's like got a good enough stick length that he could maybe get mm -hmm. it down to a club or a staff or something like that. Sure. Way. We're going to say that this one is still, you're still kind of near the coast and it's like this uh, cedar kind of wood. So there is like kind of bulbous kind of knots kind of around. It's very pretty as you kind of take it apart and it is scorched a little bit, but it is a pretty piece of wood that can be used maybe to make something in the future. Yes. Now I think it's a nice walking stick. <laughs> All right. I am going to ask, however, for both of you to give me an endurance check as you are coming back in from the rain or out of the rain still. Sometimes I think I should get a hood. You know, my hearty orcish resilience is going to say I'm going to push this roll because there's nothing. That's good. I'm built different. That is one fail and three successes. I'm going to push. I'm going to have no successes. All right, you start shivering uh, as the cold is taking away. Once you finally like pop through the wood and whatnot, um, you are able to retrieve that, uh, though. You are a bit cold. Give me one moment and I will tell you what that means. Uh, cold. Um, uh, you take a point of damage to your strength and to your wits. Uh oh. He's going to pass up by tomorrow. Ah. He's, he's really forced. Uh, as the blood runs slower to your brain. You are not, and you are unable to uh, think clearly. In fact, as you're kind of chilly and you get that piece of wood, uh, you hear another <laughs> kind of going around. Oh, the turkeys are back. But I assume I hear just like nothing but rain. There is nothing but rain. Over there. All right, all right. Well, let's go in the direction of the turkeys. I heard some just this way, and like I'm kind of like pushing them by, just kind of pushing them back towards the cabin. Okay. <laughs> I heard there's some fresh turkey just in this direction. Perhaps you can find one of those claws over there. It's just over here. I can't smell them. Well, that's the rain, silly. I know, but if I could smell them, I could hunt them. Uh, and one last thing, I'm sorry. Can I get a resource die for your torch? Sure. It's gone! You have found yourself walking back and the torch goes out and you are cold. It's cold. And dark. Come on, I can't it's, smell it's, anything. <laughs> you might, you might have yourself a case of the sniffles, there, buddy. Let's let's get you back, nice. So we'll get you a nice blanket, put you by the fire. All be good. But by God, get some fucking sleep. <laughs> can't sleep. Turkeys. Not, not even for little old me. You can't get some sleep. Not even for me. I will put my head down, but I may not sleep. Turkeys. Mm, I'm just looking real quick. All right, uh, I'm going to ask for one of you to give me a scouting check to get back to your camp in the dark. Yes. You know, I think it's a good thing we have a compass with us, right? Compass. Compass. What's your, what's your scouting right now? Uh, Mine's a two. Mine would be three dice total. And the That's... compass would give two more. 
I think it gives you a D8, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. I think that would be an excellent use of the compass. Wait, was it a D8 or was it two? I'm going to really look D8. at the compass. I believe the D8 was a survival, I want to say, maybe. Oh, it was oh, like it's... an artifact die, right? Yes. Oh, was it? I had it down as a plus two. Uh, never mind. Um, but one of these. And two of those. Bonk. Bonk. And a D8. Uh, now, just so you know, I believe that that compass was for survival checks, not for that's what, yeah, that's, I mean, what, that's what I'm checking right oh, now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep, DA for survival. Uh, then only one success. Okay, uh, you are able to get back. Shivering, as soon as you open that door, uh, the sun is beginning to rise, and that kind of aids you a bit. Uh, as you feel the warmth kind of from that hearth still. And uh, that cold uh, sensation is gone. You're able to kind of warm up a bit. Uh, though you, I guess, are still sleepy. And it is the next day. Wakey, wakey. It is the 12th of Spring Rise. Uh, 12th of Spring Rise. A uh, bit cloudy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still five. Oh, I, I, okay. yeah, I did that right now. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, a bit cloudy, uh, light rain and uh, light wind. Wakey, wakey, turkey, thank you guys. We're the next day. Get up, <laughs> get up, go to sleep. Go to bed, you. You just said wake up, but you can't go to sleep many hours. <laughs> You guys okay? Yeah. I'm wet. I have a stick. <laughs> oh, uh, if you finish with the torch, I could take it back. He hands over like a nub. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure it went to great use. <laughs> It was a good torch. I have we get, a stick. We, we traded the torch for a, a stick. In short, the predecessor to the torch, one might say. This was struck by lightning. Mr. Thorne Price is looking out the window to assess the weather. Yep. Good conditions for travel. Light rain, pretty much what you see is that you're no longer going to have that cold effect if you are moving. Uh, light, it's still a bit cloudy, so lead the way. Minus two, uh, though that's the only thing that will hinder you. Uh, everything else seems to be light, a little, little wet, but overall, it is traveling weather. I think it's time we make our way up north along the coast. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Um, that uh, unit of wood, make sure you add that to your weight. Uh, we're going to say that that wood, we'll say it's a normal, we'll say it's a normal weight for you. Uh, Same with the pelts. Can, uh, the pelts, yeah, we'll say that you could attach them together. Normal weight for a unit or a few units of pelts. We'll go ahead and do that. Once you have that all done, uh, it is morning time. I get to do the morning sound. The morning. Morning time. The light rain. Oh. What are you all up to? Sounds like you might be going for a bit of a hike. I think it's, I agree with uh, Mr. Thorne Price on this statement. I think we've sat a little too long. Let's get on up to that Ethling village and see what's going on. Yeah, I'm getting a little twitchy sitting here. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, uh -huh. I'm going to ask one of you to give me a uh, lead the way. That is a survival roll. The other one, I am looking for a scouting roll. Uh, use the compass. Oh, thank you. I do. I I do have Pathfinder, so I'll get a plus one, and that'll help with that minus two a little bit. And just before, uh, just so you all know, um, another great dreams about just wonderful dreams oh. about Fluffy. So. You were oh. my dreams again, Fluffy. I thank you for not dreams. judging. <laughs> I look forward to future hunts. Built to size. <laughs> All right. Um, for lead, lead the, the way, way survival. Is... You get to add an artifact, a D eight artifact, to the end of that roll. A D eight artifact. D eight artifact. Okay. All right, so survival. Triple check my numbers. Okay. Whip. All right, that's one success so far. And a six on the artifact die. Okay, excellent. Uh, you are able to find your way, uh, kind of moving through the woods. Now I'm going to ask for a uh, scouting check. Who is keeping watch if anyone that was very cold last night i got a two damn i get to roll three here merkel you can use my spyglass i don't want rope to touch it <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean I don't know, but you were very defensive of your bow. Excuse me, you're the one that walked into my bedroom. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you're a bitter man. Does the spike glass give me anything? <laughs> the spike glass is two? Two. Yeah. Two. Plus two. Yeah. Plus two. I will push it. Fuck yeah. Don't break my back glass. <laughs> two successes, <laughs> two failures. Two failures in what? Were they on your attribute or on the spy glass? So I had one success <laughs> on the attribute, one failure <laughs> on the attribute. I had one success on the spy glass and one fail on the spy glass. Uh -oh. Uh oh! You can tell me, you can tell me what happens a bit as you're kind of moving from... You are moving. It is a success, but how does this damage occur uh, to both the to you and uh, this equipment as you're kind of using it? Well, you're moving from redwood trees and you're going back into a plainy area. There's so much precipitation. It's just fogging <laughs> up this fucking thing. And I'm just like, God damn it. Who would I throw it? Piece no. of shit. What are you doing? No. Oh. This is the way. <laughs> I see it clearly now that I'm not looking through that spyglass. It doesn't an open and close anymore. It's like it's like it only works like opposite. It's still a spy class, but it's actually like like everything looks further away. I but it still works. <laughs> apologize. I also have a broken spyglass. <laughs> Twinsies. <laughs> Fluffy. Not make me feel better. <laughs> well, I will, and I've never said this to anyone before, but I will assume responsibility for paying for its replacement. I mean, just get it repaired. We just need to find a tinker. Uh... Yes, this way we will find a tinker. Very Fluffy good. Can't, Fluffy can't sleep. He's having a horrible time. He's wet. He's sleepy. We're breaking like his shit. He's walked. We're breaking all of his stuff. 
He's got two sticks now, one in one hand. He's like doing them like trekking poles, like as he's pulling himself along. And I have, um, we will ask Fluffy, give me a D6, please. Uh -oh. D6, go! Five. All right, give me a D6, D6. Uh, red, then black. 41. 41. All right. All right, as you are moving uh, a bit, uh, first off, excellent job kind of moving uh, through uh, the, the forest. You had to go down a few hills, um, how, how fair, but you were able to find good footing as you kind of travel like this moss uh, floor, uh, kind of going down that hill. Uh, Mr. Thorn Price, as you are coming to a clearing, uh, there seems to be this, uh, it, it, it's, it's quite odd. Uh, you've already thrown it, like, and you're looking, oh, that's the way. And there seems to be in, in, on this hill, it looks that while these other trees are, like I said, cedar and red, uh, wood trees, you see, uh, a, uh, a majestic oak sitting up on what it looks to be uh, a hill, uh, not too far in the distance, but you are able to see it. Uh, the tree looks uh, extremely uh, sturdy uh, with thick branches and shimmering foliage. In fact, like you're looking at it and it looks like every once in a while, it looks kind of like silver, the, the, uh, the leaves. But as you're looking further, it's like, no, it's just that little like, um, fine like hairs on each kind of uh, tree um but as you're looking in just in your uh, in your the depth of feeling as you're kind of staring at it as the other ones as everyone else is talking about spy glasses and whatnot and how tired fluffy is there's just something ancient feeling about this tree as you're looking at it something Something kind of watching, looking back at you. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like we came across something like this last time. There were two elves accompanying it. No. Well, yes, no but no. Clowns. It's different this time. This oak, it's staring back at me like a grandfather who... Just saw his son slam a ball into the outfield for the first time. It is a good thing, a happy feeling, a silver lining to this tree, not oogity boogity clown elves. No, no, no. <laughs> not, not this time. <laughs> Merkel Thorn Price, you have such a way with words, it's hard for the normal person to comprehend. And it's the outfield and oogity boogity clown elves. Do goblins um, slam balls into Think back to your field? childhood. What was your childhood like? Uh, a lot of killing things, a lot of Okay. Work. Well, then that then. It's like a grandfather watching his young Golf. golfing, murdering orc boy <laughs> excel in his craft. You get all of that from a tree on a hill? Well, I saw it I with got... the spyglass a moment ago before I got frustrated. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that um, with that kind of roll that you had made before, it seems like the branches are constantly moving, kind of swaying back and forth, moving as you're looking at it. And those silvery tints, like as it hits the light, that yes, they are green, but they also flash like red as like the sun hits the certain bit of the trees as it kind of like waves and you 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 do feel like that beckoning kind of 
I will approach, and I will do so with a uh, skip in my ankles, my fully functioning ankles. So you're skipping? Yes. <laughs> with your whole, with your legs and everything, and your ankles? Hello, great tree. Uh, nothing back. You do no, not have as to you move closer, say anything. You communicate so much with your colors and your your movements. But I'm uh, here. In fact, as you are there, you do you do hear a slight hum coming from the trunk. Mm. Beautiful, like music. I am confused. I thought you were the nature guy. So did I. <laughs> Don't worry. There are no turkey sounds here. <laughs> it is a beautiful music that I hear. I am in tune. I am one with the natural universe right now. Mm. Uh huh. And what is this universe telling you? Well, let me get a bit closer. I will touch the bark. I will caress it. Yes. Oh. It, it as you do so, like give, me, give me a lore roll as you get closer and listen to this humming and caress the bark. A one with a wits. Mm. I would like to use the party's boon, if I may. Oh. Of course. You add plus two to the skill. So if you get a one of that, it doesn't hamper. I believe in you. Nothing. I will push this roll because I want to feel this. A gentle caress of the bark. God damn it. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just by the tree it's, it's this beautiful tree and we're still there it's just getting pissed off because he can't understand the fucking what are you of telling me tree, tree. <laughs> I will taste the tree All right, we need to have a you group do, huddle. You, 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 man. you could describe how it tastes. <laughs> it's so barky. <laughs> woof, woof. All right, Fluffy's in the shit right now. I'm fine. He's licking trees. <laughs> you have a way with disposal. I'm a nervous wreck. What the fuck are we doing? I want Looking to for know a halfling village? Halfling village. Okay. Just making sure. This yeah, has been a weird witch. You would like I to take to... out the tree? I'm asking them. I'm going... Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead. I won't stop you, but don't lick it. That was weird. Javier might go over to see if she can hear hear the tree too. She's yes. just curious. Come. All right. Those of you that are listening to the tree over the swearing of <laughs> the price <laughs> apparently has just been enthralled with this tree. It's a pretty tree. But I don't know. Mr. Fred Price just feels a little bit more like this is maybe his missing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm weeping. I'm openly it's weeping. It's so beautiful. <laughs> You can give me a, a lower roll, please. Whoever is putting their ear up to this tree. Dear Halfair, sure. please. Yeah? Please. I'll, I'll see if I can hear anything with my with my ears. You know, <laughs> I do have a success. The way that the gods work is if you are not deserving or ready to hear their words, you will not. Perhaps it is just that too much anger and damage to others' goods has prevented you from hearing the music of the tree. That makes sense. 
Is it, what did you what did you roll? <laughs> I, I don't think I've done any damage because I got a success. <laughs> mm-hmm. How are we looking, Casey? Are you listening as well? No. Okay, half fear. You would hear uh a moment the humming. Um begin to form uh, a rhythm. Uh, it sounds almost like a heartbeat, but the heartbeat turns towards, and it says, Dear half-brethren, I feel you. I feel your presence. Please. I am but one. Please. Travel. To the West. Take back. What is ours. The tree says it hears us half brethren that they might be talking about one of you guys because I'm a sister from another mister. It's definitely a you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the tree has informed that we should travel to the west and take back what is ours. Ask it if there will be killing involved <laughs> no need I can hear will there be killing involved <laughs> I do not know or I cannot see the future can we keep I just know what was taken? The past. And as he's asking you this, it's still talking. <laughs> it's asking these questions. Hey, the, the tree will just continue. Uh, I do know the past. They've taken many of us. My brethren, they've taken them. They've taken them and stored them in castles. They build their foundation with our essence. <clears throat> Take us back. Take us back. And then the humming kind of ceases a bit. Tree said its essence is used in castles. Oh. And to take take them back. Take back the castles for ourselves and for the for this beautiful tree. For the trees. For the trees. For the trees. Take back from whom? I tried to ask and it wouldn't say. Uh. And the humming has uh, well, ceased at this point. Unfortunately, and she would she would probably try a few times, be like, "Hey, what? Who?" No. Okay, <laughs> I understand. unfortunately, no. I, I probably I probably like just had an earshot down the hill, and I keep looking up back, and all I see is someone just doing this, <laughs> and I'm all looking quizzically, and I'm just like looking up and being just shaking my head, fixing my equipment. They, I mean, I so it said to take back what is ours from the west, and to take take back the brothers from castles. I'm not a hundred percent sure what it means, but there's that. Uh it's not looking so 
pretty to me anymore and uh got some like you definitely have some like bark stuck in your tongue like on the back of your tongue that does not uh, like you know like a popcorn kernel that you just can't get out i thought there'd it's be a bit of honey or something <laughs> Let's just continue to find the halflings. I think let's stick with that. We can always come back and find this beautiful oak tree and take back castles if we wish to later. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Halfling village first, castles later. Luffy will do one circuit of the tree. And just like checking the roots and checking the branches just to see if there's anything hanging about there. Sure, you could give me a scouting check if you like. Sure. Statistically unlikely to be good, but sure. <laughs> you do have a spyglass. I, I do have a spyglass. I'm going to say you can't use this. Nothing, nothing good at it. <laughs> Still broke. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Okay. You do see that they, if they were pointed out, you do see the red kind of glimmering leaves. And it does seem like, even though there's not much wind, that it does consistently kind of move here and there. We look for foundations that move. Hey, are you guys done talking to the fucking tree? I apologize <laughs> for this detour. I just, I felt missed... something. Sorry. And he was right. The tree spoke. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Said to take back what's ours from the West. What, more fucking trees? Well, just because it spoke yes. doesn't mean it said anything worthwhile. I, But we had to hear it out. Yeah, hear out the tree. Uh-huh. Yeah. It did mention all... castles, and castles are usually owned by rich people. This is typically true. Castles sometimes can be built out of trees, so... Who knows? It's a win-win situation for the tree, if you ask me. Why were you doing that again? I had a moment where I just felt some connection to the tree. <laughs> I can't explain it. There's a lot of things that we can't explain. Don't these worry. Past few days. It's okay. You don't need to explain it to me. I apologize. I just wanted no, to support no. Mr. Thorn Price. That's it. And I appreciate you telling him the story of the tree talking to you. It's very nice of you to do. But it did talk. Like, yeah. a, little heart, like a little heartbeat. Yeah. It did talk. If I... I feel a lot of guilt about what happened back at the previous town. It wouldn't be wrong in that statement in any capacity, I'd say. Maybe I am acting out of sorts because I wish that it could have been different. I am well, hoping it... that in going to the Halfling Village that uh, we can start anew and get back to the business of helping you find your horse and getting our affairs in order. We can only build. I have. Do I have? I think I have. One gold total. One gold, two silver pieces. Day by day. <laughs> All right. Uh, morning is turning uh today uh it's still early say late morning early day uh, it's only took you uh, an eighth of that day to really get there 
Are you continuing? Yes. All right. I won't need a, um, I will not need a, uh, lead the way or a scouting role, but I will, uh, ask for one more D six, please. And we will say that, uh, we'll ask, how about, uh, how fair? Give me that D six. Okay. Um, who? Two? Yeah. Roll me a D66, please. Okay. Uh, 36. 36. All right. Um, you uh, eventually, in the distance, see uh, what looks to be uh, a large um, crescent, uh, a large dome, but it's a half dome. Looks like it's split kind of in two. Uh, the other part of it is missing, but it's this large dome. It's almost like an amphitheater you can kind of think of, but then it it kind of cuts in the distance and then uh, you're a bit far away, but you do see what appears to be a uh, chimney with smoke and uh, a small kind of wooden fence around what appears to be uh, a town in the distance. Do you guys see that? Ringo. Yes. Bringo. Can you see it, Fluffy? <laughs> <laughs> Whether happening or not, we found a village. Let's bring them the bacon. Oh, yeah. And some pelt. You approach. All right. It is daytime by the time you uh, come up. As you are approaching, uh, it indeed... Uh, actually, uh, go ahead and give me... Uh, we are going into a new town. <gasps> and I know that reputation... Uh, we're asking about things about reputation. So I'm going to ask the person with the highest reputation score. Go ahead and roll me that amount of dice. I have two. One. I think half of you just got it with two, unless the blur that is Dawson. My reputation is a zero. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. I have How about you? <laughs> How about you, uh, Mr. Thornprice? I have four. Oh. So You'll go out in front. I will hold the pony. All right, Miss Thorn Price, go ahead and give me a, a four d6. Let me know if you get any sixes. Nope. Okay, sounds good. Either way, you are moving up, and uh, as you approach, there are no guards on duty. Uh, you are moving up, and it looks like this is a quaint uh, small village. You do see that it is right up against uh, the side um, of uh, a beach that kind of rolls in and out. Uh, this large, huge stone that it seems to be, like I said, have been cut in two. This amphitheater is there. It's not hollow. It's actually straight down, and it, you could feel like this, the sun uh, through the clouds, kind of that warmth kind of just hits it and kind of just radiates uh, throughout you. It's this, this white kind of stone uh, as it hits it. Um, you, you, as you uh, look around, you would see uh, a number of things. First, your eye is drawn to this large building that's put up against this stone. It looks almost like a, a barn is what you could describe it. 
though it is a bit bigger uh, uh, around. Uh, there are, there seem to be smaller uh, sized, uh, half of a regular human size uh, huts uh, that kind of draw along this barn. Further down, these roads are a bit dirt and such, but there are, there seems to be um, houses kind of built into the side of uh, some berms that kind of rise. And it seems uh, that uh, the one thing that all of you notice is that there is music coming from the barn. And it seems a bit scarce throughout the rest of the village at this time. Go to the barn. Stunstone is a bit on the nose. You head on over to the barn? Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm down to go to the barn. All right. As you uh, begin to move, there would be um, halflings that actually are kind of wandering about. Uh, some of them, they, they look at you and they all kind of stop. And uh, um, uh, 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 there's uh, this one uh, gentleman. You actually uh, recognize this gentleman. He seems to be the halfling that was down in the hollows a few days prior. He kind of looks up at you and he's like, uh, uh, uh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Uh. Have we met? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> and Fluffy just like looks at him and then just like yawns huge. Like, oh. And just like, uh, um, uh, hi, I, hello. Okay. Uh, are you you're here for the. It's a party, is it? Yeah, yes. Yes, it's a party. Do you have um you here for that? No, but gray. Money. You're here for money? We're here for the money and the party and the socialization. And he kind of glances, he leans and kind of glances over at the orc. What's uh, up? So. Oh, oh, well, um, I'm, I'm shovel. Uh, and he's going to kind of look over and look over to the, uh, the goblin and go. I really feel like we've met before. We <laughs> met in the hollows. We did. Yes. Oh. Oh. Wait, uh, where, where, where Don't exactly in the hole? Don't worry halls? about it. Uh, yeah, I. Those troubles do not follow us. Uh, I, 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 you can't. All right, you can't tell Gray, Mayor no. Gray, that uh, there was. Listen, no, that you can't tell them that they had alcohol there. I was supposed to bring that back. You cannot tell. I would not dream of it. I wasn't even going to bring up that we had met before until you did. Oh, okay. All right. I don't... Okay. Okay. He's going to kind of look at you. Okay. Sure. Well, if you're here for the wedding, I guess uh, it's it's going on over there. Well, catch us up uh, to speed. Uh, we just got that? into I'm town. Uh, who's getting well, married? Listen. What is the occasion? Listen. I wasn't invited. Um, uh, you no, were not invited. invited. No, I messed up. I told you I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get the beer, and I didn't. I, I slept through it, and when I woke up. Uh, well, you know <laughs> that mess. the town was. You're a probably mess. Al <laughs> alive because of it. Uh, it's a mess it's down a there. Bad happened in town. <laughs> it's bad. Very bad. bad. How so? Well, first, the, the, the old, the elderly, 
<laughs> they walk around as them... dead, right? Well, a lot of them were... They were put down. They... It was quite sad. I, th I think that's a step in the right direction, if you ask me. <laughs> It's sad. It's the natural end of this. Oh, it's it's cool. yes, absolutely devastating that they put down the elderly. Yeah, I guess they were quite. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I. I hold on, hold on. That's good. That's good. We don't know each other. That's it. I don't want to. I know how this thing works. I know how this thing works. I'm going to tell you things and then you're going to back me in a corner. And before you know it, I owe you a whole bunch of money, right? Is that how this is working? Uh, do you have a lot of money? Does it look like I have a lot of money? I, would, I didn't <laughs> think so. I think I thought we were just doing a friendly <laughs> thing. I wasn't he thinking of shaking you down. He was supposed to buy beer with. Oh, that's true. What happened <laughs> to that? I think he spent all his beer money drinking that beer. Oh, that's boring. Is that how it went down, my friend? Did you drink away the profit? Um, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I thought but you would have had... bought some kind of cool gizmo contraption. Beer. Just beer. I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Would it be safe to assume that said beer is for said wedding going on in said barn? It was supposed to be. That's why I wasn't invited. Well, you did fuck up. I did. No one talk is talking to me. Well, we're talking to you. We don't hold yeah. that over your head. Uh, oh. You seem to know something about these parts. Um, that's valuable. Yeah. Why don't you hang around with us? You want me to hang out with you? The goblin, which you're okay. Goblins are fine here. Uh, the uh, wolf. Half. And the orc. That was very okay. nice of you to invite us over. Well. Is that what I did? Hold. Yes. You Is that what you I did? Hang out with us. <laughs> Is that what I told you? So you, said, you, said, you said a lot of things, if I'm being honest. You were fucked I up. I was, I'm going to need a manipulation from someone, please. I'd love to manipulate this guy. From... I am okay. curious for the barn. How far is this party barn from the rest of the village? We're going to say that you are in the outskirts of town. He probably came out. Of, we'll say he came out of the one of the little... Hobbles and just saw you guys there. Um, you are a good few, not blocks, but a few, a little bit away. But you do hear the kind of jovial singing and whatnot coming from there. I'll push uh, this. Pushing? Yeah. No All successes. Right. All right. Uh, one success. One success. Uh, he looks at you. He said, like, uh, I invited you. I did. You just said. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I did. I guess I did. Why did I invite you? Something good. I, I, I wouldn't have told you to come here unless there was something that I needed. What did I tell you? What was I getting out of it? Probably needed someone to help you carry the beer that you forgot to buy. Yeah. Yeah. There is still... Beer there. Um. All right. Okay. I invited you. I invited you here. You are my guest. Yes. If I did it, I guess I did. Okay. Um. What are your names again? <laughs> okay. This one is Fluffy. Lot. You think you can remember that one? Fluffy. Uh, half ear. Okay. Can remember half that? Ear, half ear. That one. That's easy. That's, Roth. Ooh. Harder, a like little harder. Rope. And Rope. I'm Merkel. Merkel. Okay. Yeah, rider of Peaches the Horse. It's very easy. It's a Monday. You do <laughs> You don't gotta say that part out loud now. 
Maybe there's peaches somewhere. <laughs> Do you have a horse named Peaches? It's also cute. Dumb, Nick. I have a horse, horse named Oats. That's cute. Either way. Okay, so I invited you here to bring, the, but you're here, and the beers, did you bring the beer? We brought, you brought something beer? better than beer. We brought bacon. Um, Come on, don't tell me that the <laughs> party guests aren't going to like bacon. Bacon? Is it, is it like alcohol? Is it dipped in rum? <laughs> Steve. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not dipped in rum, but it is fresh, and it is cured, and it is delicious. This is for a, a wedding gift? You brought bacon? Halflings no love bacon! Uh, yeah. He's going to look at the bacon, uh, or look at the kind of... And you have a donkey, too, okay? That's good. Don't um, be looking at the donkey. Yeah, it's a donkey. I thought I was, are you sure you didn't bring beer? Like he's looking at the donkey, really hoping that there's some beer attached to it. That's a three skull tavern. No beer. We could <sighs> I didn't... go get some, but it won't get here in time. I may not got beer, but I got some deer. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Pelts. It's just oh, you have pelts. <laughs> That's yeah. nice. Yep. I look you. at his clothes, and they're not like really messed up, but they're not like great either. I don't know anyone's gonna be wearing. They're not got, really. They got a tanner in town. No, we don't have a tanner. You, you don't stinks. have tanners a, that smells. You, you don't got a tanner in town. No. Where's the market? Yeah. It's, it's right there. And you point and you look back and it's the barn. It's normally... They're yeah, selling but... stuff in there? Where's, normally. Normally where's... they do, yes, but there's the wedding. The right. wedding is... All right. The, the, who's, the who, who's getting land. married? The mayor? Important right. people? Yeah. Uh, yes, actually very important. Two very important people. Yes. <sighs> The mayor. He kind of looks at you as he right, says the mayor. Right. He looks at you, uh, Mr. Thurm Price, as he says the mayor. The mayor, yeah, very important. Yeah, the mayor. Um, yes, it's, it's, it's gray. Mayor Gray? Mayor Gray, uh, yes. Yeah. All right, is their first name mayor or is mayor their title? It's the title. Sorry, mayor. <sighs> Mayor Prick. Mayor Prickworth. Is just... Fuck you. That's oh. not his name. <laughs> Mayor Prickworth Gray. No. No, Mayor Gray Prickworth. You're setting us name. up. What kind of sick <laughs> fucking joke are you playing on a shovel? Uh, <laughs> you you no, sneaky Pete. <laughs> thing. We're not saying that. We're not gonna go up to him and say, "Hey, hey, Mayor hey, Prick." Hey, Prick, how's it going? Prickworth. It's Prickworth. I swear his name is Mayor Prickworth. Great Prickworth. What's your name? Shovel. <laughs> Shovel. <laughs> shovel. Shovel and bricks. It's shovel. Okay. It's not shovel. It's shovel, not shovel. God. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? I say shovel. Jeez. No, it's shovel. <laughs> Is that what you said? I did say shovel, not shovel. Why would anyone name themselves shovel? I mean, my parents don't hate me. I don't know. Why would some motherfucker name themselves robes? I don't know what y'all do. I am I know, very man. upset with... Great Prickworth, why are you upset? Why is this a shock? The right, spyglass. <laughs> Hand it over. Can you tell him that I invited you and you pro and I told you to bring this the food? Yeah, actually, that would work. If you give them some of that deer, you told them that I it's hired more. you to bring this and maybe invited you. I don't know if they'd like that. Well, we will tell them some variation of that story, but it's... It's not going to play out well for you. But we, I invited you here. Why are you? Let's, yeah. let's get back on topic. 
So Mayor Prick is the Mayor is Prickworth. The, don't call him Mayor Prick. Is the Gray Prickworth? Mayor Gray Prickworth is the, is the groom. Who's the lovely bride? Oh, here we go. Vienna Fomelli. Fomelli. She's beautiful. That's all. Vienna. Vienna Fomelli. Vienna Fomelli. She's awesome. Are you sure you're not fucking with us right now? Because either. What's <laughs> You never met. You met. Are you making this is our culture? <laughs> All right. All right. Maybe it is us. make fun of you with okay. the ropes. I didn't say it was stupid. It is stupid. No, it's not, sir. It's not stupid. I'm sorry. God. It's, a, it's, it's okay, shovel. I forgive. You. Shovel. <laughs> she shovel. Shovel. What's that? What are you doing? What are your lips? Trying to understand the name. Shovel. 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 <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm telling you everything I know. I've been saying your name wrong this whole time. Well, we just got out the town. So markets and the bar, the wedding of Mayor Brickworth. You gotta help me. And Fianna Fomelli is in there. Fianna Fomelli. You would know. You would know. I mean, obviously she's the bride, but she's also, yeah. Shovel. Would you? Go ahead. Shovel. Yes. Yes, Merkel. We are. If I ask you a question, it's You're my friends on the DL, right? Yeah. Yes, you're gonna help if as long as you hold on before you ask this question. As long as you help me out, and get out of this jam. We're gonna help uh, you out. Everything. Yeah, sure. I got you. Sure. Okay. Is there something with a baker in the woods? Baker. A missing baker or a strange a baker who Ooh. bakes things by the seashore? Yeah. Yeah. There was a Bill baker. Carwa. What is his name? I don't Bill know. Carwa. Yeah. Well, that's Bill Carwa. Oh. Oh, Milcar. Yeah. yeah. Milcar. Yeah. You know, Milcar. It was a baker. He used to tend the cows, and then he would. Uh, Milcar. Would, he would. How do you feel about him? Sure. Was, he got. Well, he he showed. <laughs> uh, Mayor Prick. He. Uh, I don't feel anything because he was kicked out of here. He was a bad guy. Okay, good. Fellas, we have our in. Group How do you know that name? How do you know him? We dealt with Please him. Show. Hold on, Shell. Hold <laughs> on, Shell. Group okay, huddle. Okay, here I go. What's up, guys? All, All right. right. You're in yeah. the so, huddle also. So you're in the so. huddle. You're in the middle because you got to make sure it's nice. You're right? the pickle. So. You're, you're I'm the taller pickle. than you, Merkel. <laughs> so, here, so here's the thing: you, you got to get this beer for this wedding, but this prick, now prickworth, milk, yeah. milk Confusing. car, milk car, he sat in the house. bastard, stole the beer, used it all to make his evil demonic baker doughboys. Demonic. Yes, that, oh, yeah. that's oh, true. That's true. What are you about? Oh, he's a demon worshiper. Welcome, by the way. And before he was able to be what? stopped in his act, all the beer was destroyed in the process. Is this a story? I don't think this is very believable. Is this a story that you're coming up with that he's a demon worshiper and he's out making He well, summoned bread. a hot foot stone. <laughs> well, well, Shovel, it's a half truth. He is a demon worshiper, but you forgot the beer. He boiled the beer we, with his didn't. hot stone. He did. He could. He's already. Ex he could take the fall. He's our fall guy. Yep. 
He's already fallen. Is it? Oh, I did bring the beer. Wait, you what? Did. You did. It was just. Stolen. Oh yeah, you did. But then but it got fucked up. You were up. so. I didn't tell you were him so. Was you were so traumatized. So traumatized by the experience with milk. They could tell I was hungover when I came. <laughs> but if you okay, they didn't. I didn't give them a, a. I didn't give them a true story, but they knew I was full of it. But okay, sure. Yes, that sounds great. I believe you. Now get in there and get me invited. Okay. Okay. We're going in the bar. Okay. Yeah. Who's going in first? As you go in, it is this. And there's like a few kids playing the kazoos, like different golden kazoos. Oh, we got a raid. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> I'm Butterbee. Thanks for the raid, I'm Butterbee. Hey, everybody. It's great to see you. You're just coming at the right time. We're the, the group is, well, they're crashing a wedding. And uh, yeah. we're so very happy, uh, Defenderverse, that you've come by and stopped by. Yes, Butterbee is here. He uh, is very happy uh, that you've joined us. Um, we are playing Forbidden Lands. Uh, what were you guys uh, up to uh, tonight? And uh, we'd love to hear what you guys are up to as we continue playing. Uh, yeah, no, you're crashing too. No, you're part of it. We could say that you guys are there. <laughs> Catalina Wine Mixer. Oh, cool. All right. Uh, so either way, uh, so happy that you could join us as we are uh, continuing. We've just seen this group of people that have. Oh, you guys playing Dragonlance? Oh, cool. Are you playing? Uh, were you guys playing the five E version? Or are you playing an older uh, version of it? Yeah, yeah, Dragonlance has always been a fun one. We've actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> Also, we're celebrating our affiliate uh, anniversary. It's our sixth. <laughs> oh, 5 E Shadow. Oh, yeah, Dragon Queen. We actually we really enjoyed. Oh, it's a triple jam. We actually really uh, enjoyed that a lot. Uh, we're about, I would say, what two thirds done with that. We're almost we're almost there. But we, from what we've done so far, we are extremely impressed and having a great time with that. Definitely feels like it's a very epic, epic story. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, as we are playing, <laughs> as we're playing some forbidden lands, the group just gets in. There it seems to be um, as the two. It looks like there are two sides to the barn. They have these wooden, um, these wooden chairs, kind of set up alongside, uh, and. Music is playing. They have the little harmonicas. And then everything stops as the doors open and the group walks in. No groom, <laughs> no bride yet, but. <laughs> Hello. Uh, uh, and then you would see this uh, man. He would come out and he'd look and go, oh, uh, this gentleman, in fact, I have some art. Uh, he has a, a top hat on. Uh, kind of sitting there, looks a bit stouty. And uh, this gentleman kind of appears looking uh, from the side door. Looking at all of you. And he looks like stop. Oh, uh, play, uh, play that. Keep on playing. It's okay. Uh, man, who the hell is uh, who the hell is this? <laughs> they're, looking, they're all looking back like who the hell is this? Oh, we had another raid. Hey, oh. Cliff Gaming. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we're playing some Forbidden Lands, and the party is crashing a wedding. Bunch of halflings are. 
about to get married and well at least two of them and we have parties stepping in at so we're very and we're happy to have you thank you very much for joining us um this gentleman comes out he's uh kind of looking at you all and he stops and glances over at uh, the goblin in your party mr Thumb price and he just stares at you for a second I'm looking at uh. Thorn Price. I'm looking at the halfling. I'm looking at Thorn Price. Back at the uh, Where Hello. do you want the food? Hello. Uh, well, um, the 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 food. Sure. Uh, the food. Uh, you can um, put it. I guess. Uh, uh, you are invited. Huzzah! You're a guest. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Please, 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 the music, the music. And brr, 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 and he comes up to you. Oh, uh, oh. Hello. The wedding is starting soon. I'm sorry. Oh, we, the, the market oh. is closed. It's okay. Today. We're here for the wedding. We brought food. We brought some bacon. <laughs> uh, we apologize oh. that there is no beer. There was a little mishap on bringing it here. Um... Mm. Beer mishap. Oh, mm -hmm. shovel. Yes, yeah, shovel. You know, uh, shovel. He he, he shovel. went to great lengths to make sure that the ale could make it here, but there was a really a mm -hmm. big fuck up. A big fuck up. You say huge, monumental. Uh, it, it's hard to pinpoint blame for why we will not have these libations tonight but i blame those who are too soft on crime that is exactly uh, right my friend that is not that is not us we are not uh soft on crime not soft no you're hard the mayor here not on crime yes i am the mayor here no <laughs> frick with <laughs> Hello. I had no idea. Uh, yes. Well, then I'm you know of the disgraced baker. The baker, milker. <laughs> I yes. I I am about to get married. I am oh, sorry. Yes, uh, you are. We don't need to be dealing with these politics and business and whatnot. Enjoy the bacon. Yes. No the reason oh, it's... to point fingers of blame. Very well. Uh, he kind of looks at you. And he's kind of glancing at you, Mr. Thumb Price, for a little bit longer. And as you nod, he kind of nods. Mm. Uh, mm. He goes and does that too. <laughs> yes. Are we welcome yes. here uh, at your wedding? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. And f yes. In fact, especially you, please take a seat, uh, preferably in the back. And we will, after the wedding, we will chat. Yes. I will not take offense to that, and I will comply with your request. I am a professional after all. I will sit in the you back. You are. So am I. Very well. Kind of smiles. Congratulations to you, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. What's this? Mazel Tov. Okay. Sure. Well, and he <laughs> takes a, a nod, looks at you all, and he kind of looks and glances back. And maybe Mr. Thumb Price isn't really seeing it very much, but for every, like, everyone else, like, Fuzzy, Halfir, Rope, like, this guy is like the spitting image of Mr. Thumb Price. Like, he looks, um, except for this guy has hair and, like, Facial hair and whatnot, but this guy is like the spitting image of Mr. Thurm Price as he's talking to him. Is that your? Is that like your cousin or? Thank you very much for the follow, DM Run. He kind of looks back at you for a moment, kind of goes and hurries back up. Hurry, hurry again! And then the music starts back up. I'm going to want to dance with the beautiful bride, though. <laughs> Everyone's like looking back at 
It's like you it's just, like, what are you talking to? Oh man. But as they as you're talking, they look at you, Mr. Thorn Price, and they look at you. And then they all like you would see like there's a number of them are like whispering to each other. What? They point to Mr. Thorn Price and then they're pointing back at the bear and they're like <laughs> Well, Mr. Thorne Price, if you ask me, you look like a right old prick. Worth. Oh, uh, pa- uh, pardon me, what? I mean... A rick? Yeah, a prick. A prick. Worth. I'm a prick with. You no. look like just like that poor fucker. He uh, frickin' brothers. No. Oh. The mayor is much more hairy. That's that true. That is true. But it's like he and him like just like switched for a day. It's like you want to tell the difference. He's a little more green along the gills and less hairy. And so like Fluffy will push back his sleeve a little bit and hold his arm up so like the hair obscures the top of uh, his face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's> <laughs> I'm not sure I follow that face you're making at us, Mr. Thorn Price. Do it's you not my see face. it? Oh, it's also his face. When, really? When it... Huh. Yeah. You, look, you, look, you guys look like you could be related. How can we turn this into an advantage? You, I mean, you did say you want to dance. Well, we just like have one of us dress you up as Mr. Prick. Powder me up as a prick. <laughs> and that's how you dance. <laughs> uh-huh. Just whoops, seems of... excessive. Why not just ask the lady? We just take a bit of Fluffy's fur. We put it as a mustache and a little hair. You got the bandana still. You got to get you a top hat. And my God, it'd be like the same person. I'm going to learn know this prick secrets. Though. Talking to his missus. Because <laughs> <laughs> Zeus started down in the back. and the wedding is is going. They're, uh, he's coming out uh, kind of a bit disheveled, but he still has that hat on. And he's like, ah. and people are like looking back and forth. And um, he kind of sits there and waits and smiles. And from behind you, the doors open and this, I'll move this. I'm going to move this uh, art back in the center here uh, as this uh, halfling woman begins to make her way forward. She is draped in the ceremonial uh, garb as she moves forward and uh, very... Uh, Beautiful face. Uh, she's wearing this like circlet with an opal in the center of her uh, headband. She has fire red hair as uh, as she makes her way, and she's sitting there. She's sitting there and looking at everyone. Everyone's looking back at her, and they are uh, smiling as she kind of looks and just kind of nods and smiles at everyone. Uh, everyone, you could tell, like, as they look like these smiles, uh, sh- hers look like very, like, kind of, like, very sincere, while the others are kind of like, you could tell. You're just looking, and that you could tell that these... Actually, you know what? I'll ask uh, f- for someone to give me an insight as uh, these smiles are kind of taking place, whoever would like to do that. Oh, need a smiles. What a lovely wedding. I would roll three dice. Okay. Oh. Uh. Luffy will like meet her eyes and then just yawn huge again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I will push. Sure. One success. All right. Um, you would see these smiles are extremely 
uh, fake smiling through their teeth. Just kind of like they look like they're very pleasant, but on the uh, you've you've met a I mean you've you've known. In fact, I mean your mentor was how oh, your mentor one of your mentors was a halfling, and you know a little bit about the halfling culture and know them a lot to be a bit maybe two faced in a way. Uh, these they're all smiling, but you could tell they're you could see like the jealousy in their eyes. Like, uh, you know, both men and women are looking at her with different attitudes, but n not very many are actually happy. <laughs> but they're like, oh, but for everyone else, they're like clapping and like, oh, wow, so great, so great. You know, and the, the, the kazoos continue as they move along and begin the ceremony. And throughout the, the ceremony continues, uh, they do a tying of the knot. They um they do the customary a uh, bit of few customs of uh halfling culture. Um and eventually the, the wedding kind of as as the wedding is taking place, it is uh, the saying of the vows. And uh Gray kind of goes up to her and says, Well, my dear, uh I don't have Words cannot uh, express how much I truly care and love you. You are remarkable. You are. And as he is continuing, the doors from the barn slam open. And two figures, well, three figures appear, but two Humanoid figures appear. Why are only two of them humanoid? At the back of the thing. Close to where you are, these two figures. Halfling weddings are more involved than I thought. <laughs> and we're going to take a quick break as <laughs> it appears two Rust brothers are barging in on the fun. Hey, everybody. We are back from our final break. Um, the gang uh, is currently sitting uh, behind uh, or at the rear of this wedding of these two halflings. One that looks very similar to uh, Mr. Thorn Price uh, as what it appears to be these two ruffians have uh, kind of barged in on this uh, celebration. Uh, once again, everyone stops and looks. Uh, the group, the party, what you see um, is you see two uh, figures that look uh, a bit similar to each other. Um, one carries uh, what appears to be uh, a, f a, a bit of a bloggy type, like nine tails kind of thing. And he has it kind of draped over his shoulder, kind of smiling as he steps in uh, to his left. Uh, it looks to be a bit of a... Um, this this gentleman, they both look extreme. They both look young, uh, early 20s. Uh, this other one seems to be scarred uh, across his face uh, and in his hair a bit, uh, though he. Uh, but really what you see them and for a second, uh, you would see those symbols that you've seen uh, multiple other times. In fact, yes, they are Rust Brothers. But I think what really draws your attention is that the uh, the larger um, of these two figures has a chain, a rusty chain kind of wrapped around his forearm that leads down to um, the floor. And in the floor sits this uh, 
I want to say the size of maybe a boar that you recently done, but think of a dog that is hairless, uh, looks to be as dark as leather, no eyelids, and just has like dark pupils on the sides of his eyes. And is it like is drooling? And as it drools, you could see like the sizzling kind of hit the floor as it as it sits there, and as it as it comes in, it's just like this loud loud deep bark something that you've never heard like a dog a wolf or anything uh emit as everyone goes to silence for a second mr thorn price will stand up go ahead and say i'm sorry this is a private wedding (laughs) do either of you have an invitation They all look at you. They look at you and just laugh. Uh, the 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 kind of heavier set figure kind of sits there and laughs. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. I'm sure we're invited. Sure, mm. yeah. I'm sure that you're uh, the, not. The the the, <laughs> uh, the um, dinner fellow kind of steps in and he kind of smiles and look at you of course uh, we are sorry that we've even intruded on such a a beautiful ceremony Uh, we we are travelers you see Uh, me and my brother here we are headed south yeah south that door yeah Yeah. (laughs) and he and he kind of looks at you and kind of like Gives you like even and you expect he a bigger smile. Yes, we we know which way south is, friend. Uh, we are here. Um, in town. Such a lovely, lovely town you have, and they begin to like walk forward, as as they are kind of making their way forward very lovely Uh, wedding gift that you have brought i would be happy to take it from you receive that and deliver it to the table what is this some kind of mop (laughs) there's like people that are looking back and there's like this lady that looks back at you and then they say shut up (laughs) Don't you know what they are? Uh, Rust Brothers. And they, uh, oh, yes. Are you? Are we? Are we talking? Uh, how funny! We are. I did not know that the town of Halflings led by a goblin. Oh, that is quite silly, isn't it, brother? And his brother sitting there, and it's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really funny. Well, uh, what I was saying then, I guess I'm speaking to you. Uh, We are looking for one of three things, and we will be on our way. We are looking for supplies. Uh, It seems that there is a number of supplies here. Uh, We will be taking that. Uh, We are looking for supplies to feed a group of people. if you do not have supplies, you do not wish to part with the supplies, that is fine. Uh, we will take gold. Gold is acceptable. And if you do not have gold, then um, we will take blood. Mm. I'm going to slowly sit up from my chair as well. Oh, good. <clears throat> I'll walk over. Well... I'm afraid supplies are already spoken for. We are at a wedding, after all. It'd be very rude to have them part with their things you just so graciously procured to host such a wonderful event of holy matrimony. And gold? I mean, I assume it's probably mostly been spent. Fairly, I think I heard that mostly was spent trying to get some alcohol. But unfortunately, there was a little issue on the way. Oh, yes. Do you have any alcohol? I would be happy to purchase said alcohol from you. And like, I'm like walking up to them. Mm. 
No. So it's blood? No. Uh, and he kind of uh, smiles. <laughs> Axe. Here we go. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and roll initiative. At the same time, you would hear from like the, no, no, please. <laughs> My wedding. And then like, that's not like this. No blood. And like, it's too late. It's a yep. thing. <laughs> Fuck Ross Brothers. <laughs> Here we go. All right, I'm going to ask you all to go ahead. Go ahead and shake it up. Jesus. You can shake it up. I'm going to ask uh, someone to pass out all the initiative cards, please. I'll do it. And as you do so, you would hear that. <laughs> oh, Red's hungry. Red. Thank you. I always you? wanted to try a hot dog. So for you? Oh. <laughs> okay. Just a reminder the way initiative works is uh from one to ten. Uh, I lowest got an to L. highest. You got an L? <laughs> <laughs> I was seven. Uh, thank you for passing those out. Uh I am going to need a quick moment. Get a few things ready as we are beginning to move. Uh, who has the lowest? Uh, I have four. I have yeah. two. All right. Ooh. So remember the way this works is the first, uh, the first round. We have uh, it is whatever initiative you have. That's what you have. Second round at the start. If you choose, if you're in uh, shouting distance you're able to switch initiatives with allies. So just because we're aware of that. All right. So first we have a uh, rope. Me. I mean, I did say I was going right for the ax and then swinging at somebody. So would you say I have the ax out already or no? I'm going to say that we're going to pull initiative right when you are going to grab your ax. So the answer is no. All right, so fast action, you have the X, slow action, I will swing. All right, uh, who, who are you choosing? I was say who's closer, uh, nine tail boy say... or big guy? You have three creatures, nine tails boy. Uh, you have larger rest brother, thin rest brother, and you have in the middle of them a, a large, hungry, skinless red dog. Who would you like to hit, try to hit? Uh, I'm going to say the one who said it's blood then. I assume it's the skinny, lanky guy. So That's I'll, right. I'll swing at him. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That is three successes. Three successes. All right. One moment. Um... Is a slashing weapon. He can dodge or parry as he sees fit. Actually, two successes. My bad. I read that four as a six. Sounds good. Uh, okay. Uh, one moment. I just need to. There we are. Okay. All right. Um, he is going to. Uh, what did you say you were doing? Uh, swinging an axe, slashing weapon. Slashing. Okay. He is going to attempt to dodge. Uh, he has. is going to try to stay on his feet as he does so. So he will be doing... Okay. Oops. 
should be this. All right, so just this. Uh, and... Uh, I think he's going to... Yeah, I'm going to have him... I'm going to use that reroll to push this dodge. Okay. Uh, you go to hit him, uh, and he tries to dodge. One moment, I need one more thing. Okay. You can see that. He is smiling, but at the same time, I don't think he was ready for this to actually happen. It seems like this is a racket that they kind of do around. So, all right. The damage total will be three. Three damage will be the right, total thank you. before armor. Okay, that's what I was. Uh, I'm looking at armor right now. Here we go. All right, he has three. He's going to. Okay. All right. So he will he will take one. He will his armor will absorb one. His armor is damaged a bit. Does he take a point of damage at all? He does take a point of damage. Could you please roll me uh, uh, the, uh, 66? I'm going to ask you to do that for me. <laughs> Got it. I, that I can Because it's, it's a reward for you. Because <laughs> as an ex-fighter too, no matter what, if it's a person, I deal one point of damage, critical injury. Bum, bum, bum. They're not broken unless it kills them instantly. First number is that. Second number is 55. 55. So on the, so on the critical injury table for Please look weapons, that up for me. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Slashy injury uh, for 55 is a severed arm. Lethal. Oh. Yes. Uh, minus one time limit is D six hours. Two handed weapons cannot be used, and this is a permanent injury. <laughs> oh, so, so I see as of like he's saying it's blood, then like he probably goes up the swing with he's reaching else. down, he's reaching down to grab it. Like a quick slash comes over, and like it goes right into the forearm and just like kind of like dangles a bit. Yeah. Ah. He looks up this. This pain <laughs> as you have lopped off his arm. Oh, nice. Anything else? No. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, that would be Alfred. Wow. He is still okay. up, though. He is still up. Well, in that case, uh, I will. Oh, my legs. Um, <laughs> in that case, uh, I will um, ready my weapon with the fast action because it was not ready. Um, oh, wait, that's only for ranged weapons. I guess. Whatever. I, ha I have my... Um, my dagger out, and I would like to try to, I guess, help rope out, circle around, and try to 
stab at the <laughs> yeah, stab at the guy who now is missing an arm. All right. Go for the handicapped. Uh okay. So um and remind me to hit it's the melee. Yep. Melee, yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. It's been a hot minute, so just needed to make sure. Two successes to hit. Two successes. Yes. That then, uh okay. And it's like per success, that's the damage or no? Uh per success you if you have a damage, then you just add uh to it and then everything else is so if it says like two damage, then you'd add two for the first one. The second one is just a one. So if you have gotcha. a one, so yeah, whatever you're using. Yeah, so, uh, two total damage then. All right, you are going after him. He still has a bit of armor left. Yeah. So we will see his armor. Um, as you do so, um, give me a... Give me a D66 roll as he kind of screams out. 36. 36. All right. Dawson, do you still have that open? You have a stabbing weapon? Yeah. It's 36? Yeah. Uh, he has an impaled shoulder. <laughs> Lethal? No. Oh. Uh, Two-handed weapons uh, cannot be used. All right. <laughs> I just poke him. So you go ahead and just stab this guy. I'm going to say, like, his same shoulder or other shoulder? Um, maybe the other shoulder. Okay, so it's even, like, he's, like, his arm is already dangling. You go and, and stab him in the elder shoulder. I just saw that. Uh, uh, thank you, Percy. You all have a, a boon, so make sure if you want to use it, you can use it. Uh <laughs> But he goes down, uh, broken and bloody, mumbling to himself. <laughs> Up next, we have uh, Fluffy. So Fluffy is going to take a stick. He's take a look stick down at the acid drooling dog. <laughs> it's gonna go wop up. Okay. Bad dog. Uh and uh he er I think my wolfkin talent takes an action, so just so that I will throw our boon on it though. Because a boon Do seems it. like a good thing to have. Okay. Uh, that is one success, but I really don't like this dog, so I'm going to push it. Why didn't that hold my one success? You had to push the push button, not the number button. I hit the wrong button. Uh, two successes, one failure. Two successes, one failure. All right. Um, so that would be three points of bludgeoning damages. Three points of bludgeoning damage. Sounds good. That, give me one moment, because I have to roll. Uh, puppy. <laughs> okay. Uh, three points of damage. You, you bonk it on the head. It is still up, but you did do a bit of damage to it. Anything else? I think that's it. And he's still like back a little bit. He doesn't get quite as up as close. He's like bap from near distance. Sure. Then I'll try and like fade back, like whatever the length of that guy's chain is. Like try and stay like a little bit further than that. Okay. Sounds good. Well, um, it is my turn. 
Uh, he's going to let his... Get him, Red! He's going to let the dog off the leash. And he's going to go... Um, just a reminder, I have one, two, three people that have been attacking. Correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Red is at first going to go ahead and move up to attack. Moves up and he's going to bite. Uh, try to bite one of you three. Um, Fluffy. Fluffy. You have a bite coming your way. It's doggy dog world out there. <laughs> It's a rough day. Woof. All right. Uh, Fluffy. Yes. I am going to need uh, a move roll from you as he bites down and he first does a point of damage as he bites into your flesh. But and as I... he does so... Oh, good. Okay, go ahead. Is there something uh, that you can do before? Armor? Sure. Go ahead and roll oh. your armor. Roll armor. Come on, armor. No, armor, you suck. <laughs> uh, you can't push armor, correct? No, you can't. And if you roll the one and it's penetrating, then your armor takes a point of damage as well for yeah, any ones armor. that you rolled. Yeah. I did. You took one, and then I took one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need a move roll from you. And then a move roll. Which will be four. As it seems to like seep, this acid is like seeping. This drool is seeping on your arm. I'm gonna. Can I push that one? Sure. Ah, one and one. One and one, no success? Uh, one success, one failure. Okay. So you take that damage to your agility as you kind of pull, like you you strain your, like the ligament in your arm as you kind of pull your arm back. Uh, Let go. Before any acid really gets onto your arm. Uh, the other guy is going to open his eyes and he's going to attempt... To flee. <laughs> he is going to uh, do a move. I go, oh, oh, hold on. He's going to he's going to yell like, hold on. After Red is uh, let go and he's going to try to get out and can't, can't try to get a bit of uh, movement. Big boy. So, big boy. He's trying to get a bit of movement. As he just sees his. He's pissed off. He's he says he's, he's he looks down and sees his friend or companion on the floor bleeding out and he is in fight or flight and he is fleeing movement so he big boy has all right So no, um, no successes. Uh, I know we're not, we're kind of doing this theater of the mind, but he did have that like dog in front of him. Uh, are any of you arms length away that you would attack as he is fleeing? Yes. And if you are in your mind, if you are, then you can say yes. And we will allow you to attack. I mean, I was standing next to his boy. Were they saying like shoulder to shoulder to each other? Would you say or no? Um, can you say that again, please? I was at his mate's side. Would you say sure. they're saying shoulder to shoulder? Yes. If those of you that are saying that you uh, are doing that, then you have a reaction that does not count towards your attack to attempt to attack and hit him. I mean, if it's we one success. Yep. It's, for it's, me. Free, it's for me. Hey. All right. I'm gonna ask for all the successes. We're gonna add them up. <laughs> like one. 
All right. One success. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. No. One, two, three, four, four, four failures. So I'm not going to push that one. <laughs> All right, four. Two successes. So four. the way we're going to do this is actually I should be doing this by armor for each hit. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Alex, your attack first. Um, you said that you had one success. Uh, let's see, he has on. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. So you go to hit him, and you're not finding any purchase as his armor just kind of deflects off of it. Uh, that one for you. Yeah, it negates it as well, unfortunately. Does it negate all the damage, or is it... Just, how, it how, many, how much damage did you do for yours? X, X will do two. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry, for you, Alex, did you have two points of damage, or was it one? It would have been one. Short okay, story. so it negates it negates uh, Thorn Price's hit. Uh, it does not negate your hit. You do do a point of damage. Are you using your axe? Sh sure am. Okay, go <laughs> ahead and roll me a, a d66. I think I got it now. Thank you. I was trying to get the stuff together. It's not a lot a, of information. Not as lethal as a 24. That's so unfortunate. Will this is a slash. Is a slash a twenty-four right. will cause a bleeding thigh. Uh, the run is now a slow action. This is exactly what you wanted with this guy. As he, as you go and you uh go to move or not move, but you go to like swing at him as he's kind of trying to escape, and you do hit him and slice him in the thigh. As he does move through uh, the doors um, away. And now you are near, though the doors kind of are flopping around. And we are going to go to Mr. I believe it's Mr. Thorn Price's turn. Yeah, I want to chase this bitch and slash him up real good. And just so you, just so you know that there is a dog a leathery dog that's kind of in between you and him as he's trying to escape i'm gonna cut him up real nice the dog. <laughs> um i'm gonna use percy's player boon okay you're going for the dog no i want to cut the dude up that's trying to get away all right if you do so um you will be pretty much the dog will have an opportunity of attack because he's in between you and the guy that right. flee this flame. Okay. So uh, you have your action to swing. All right. So your fast action, you have your blade out. What is it? Your blade? Short sword. Okay. So your short sword is out. I'll push. I'm sorry. I should, probably should have said that you had your, um, that it was like an unarmed attack because you didn't have a weapon at the time. But you do have your short sword out and you're pushing now. Okay. Uh, two successes. I've got like a million failures. <laughs> Go ahead and you <laughs> two successes. So that is how many points of damage? Like this is one point. All right, with two successes, so two points each. All right, so that is that. I need to roll a quick. All right. Uh, with those two, you go and slice into this dog, and the dog yipes and howls as you cleave into its uh, neck, and it falls limp onto the floor. All right. We are at the top of the order. Moment for initiative switching. No. Nope. It's good. Okay. Get him, bro. Go ahead. Bro, it's your turn. 
Um, I probably have seen like the blood trail starting to lead out the door. I will use my fast action to move in that direction. See, I'm like probably right. like you have caught up to him, and he's like hobbling around. Oh, 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 wait. Okay, and then as he says, "Wait," I'm gonna take like my punch shield and just like cross him right across the cheek. I'm gonna attempt to knock him down with my other fast action. <laughs> Because he's, okay. he's, he's going to be able to outrun us. He's going to have to take a stand to stand up, so I will attempt to shove. All right. Let's see. What is shove? It's a roll. It's a fast section. You roll melee. Use a shield over that weapon. Actually, no, I'll use the axe and like hook my thing around his foot and pull it underneath him. Okay. That is two successes I'll need. I have two successes. He is knocked prone. All right, that was your fast action? Uh, yeah, he has two fast actions, and he can... Oh, to get there and to do that. He, okay. He, uh, can be dodged or parried with a shield. Uh, he is... Uh, he does, as you are going out, he does, uh, on the side of him, have a, uh, like a small, like a long sword. On the on his on his uh, hip, uh, though he does not have it drawn out this time, so he will attempt to dodge. Uh, he will not, and you said that. Oh, he's gonna go prone anyway, huh? Mm. So he will not. He will try to stay upright. So this will be at this. Mm. Oh, all right. So no, <laughs> he 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 pretty much tries to do it, and you just knock him on his ass, and now he is prone. All right. Now, next. Where do you think you're going? Uh, uh, next we have the potato lion, Alfier. That is me. Um, when someone's broken, are they still able to like talk or no? Uh, yes, they are. Okay. Mumble. She... Okay. She would like to... She's going to go over to the skinny one who's on the floor. <laughs> uh, Is going to be kind of... Is going <laughs> to kneel down, like, next to him. <laughs> knife to the neck. And she's going to kind of lean in and be like, What do you know about a rest brother with one long horn out the forehead? Okay, you could um give me uh some type of you give me manipulation, I guess. I'm okay. gonna say that you are able to do this with a plus two. Oh, that's good. And so the plus two is added. Your skill, so it would be like if you had that to your manipulation. So it's not your oh. base ability. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. So you push. You push. I want to. But. I mean, the one you did roll is for the skill. It's not. You're right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to push it. Because <laughs> you push the two on that one, so it actually rolls all of it. Huh? Because you push the two on that one, so it rolls all of it. Yes. Damn it. Nothing. No. I take no. I you get kinda... at least get a willpower point. You get a willpower point, and he's kind of like, "Oh, uh, this is the horn. No, they got a horn. We just wanted food. Damage. That's all we wanted." And he's like, right, screaming in pain as, "Finish me! Finish it then!" Like he's like, you know. Mm -hmm. Rust. Rust will protect me. All right. Uh, is, that is what you wanted. That's what you got. Uh, up that, next. Uh, okay. 
Sorry, go ahead. Is the dog's... You said the dog is done, right? The dog is done. Okay. Um, would I be able to coup de gras? Uh, we're going to say that was a slow action. Uh, coup de gras, we're going to say at this point might be a slow yeah. action to finish. So, yeah, no you problem. do have fast right. action if you want to move or do anything else. Fast action. No. Okay. <laughs> this whole like ah, ah, there's just like screaming and everything going on. It's the wedding. It's because it's, there's a wedding still going on. So um, maybe at this point you might hear like someone needs to get the guards. <laughs> uh huh. All right. So um, that is uh, that turn. We are up to Casey. Uh, so I will fax action go chasing off after the big fellow who ran away. He is he's... prone. And he is prone. Holding on and to his thigh. Then I will slow action push down on his forehead with my staff. Uh, <laughs> hey, you get a plus two because he's prone currently. Because he's prone. So that means... That's a one. That's a four. That's a one. Book, book, book. Two successes. Two successes. Oh. All right. Uh, for a um, total of two damage. Two damage. Thank you. Leave that did take him last time, so she he should be rolling this now. Oh boy, dice do not like him. Um all right, he is still up. And he does take um those two points. Uh Stay a little bit back at near range because of the staff, and then that's that. All right, he uh, it is his turn. He is going to begin to play with you. He is going to look at um, the both of you, and <laughs> he doesn't know which one is he can try to play with, but he is actively like slowly like trying to crawl and trying to stand but at the same time he's like wait okay what do you what 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 do you need i what can i do i uh, i i just i just information do you want it from me i don't uh, and he's gonna just kind of be like pleading like he doesn't know seems like he's not the guy that normally is does the talking so he doesn't know like what is going on it's my brother it's okay uh, uh, no. please please uh, rest, rest, uh, rest, uh, please have mercy mercy okay that's what he does because not much he can do it is mr thorn price's turn I'm not the one you should be worried about. Yes, the angry goblin coming up. I'm going to... He's on the ground? Yes. So I'll run over, put my knee on his throat, blade is... to his forehead. What is... <clears throat> you work for me now. What? I'll put the put some pressure behind that point. You work for me now. All right, you can give me a manipulation check to see what's going on here. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'll give you plus one. She still is coherent, but it's not looking too good.
No. Nothing. Would you like to push? Not on that roll. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. That was your slow action, a manipulation roll. You do have a fast action. Is there anything else that you can do with a fast action? Can I push my blade through his brain? Unfortunately not. <laughs> No. Okay, but you are you're holding him down pretty much is what's going on at this point. All right, moving uh back to the top. Initiative swapping. Nope. Nope. All right, rope. I I will swap my initiative with Mr. Thorpeis. All right, you can switch your. You can switch your. Next one, who can have that too? It's your turn now. All right, Mr. Thorn Price, go ahead. All right, I'll just kill this guy. <laughs> Give me an attack roll. Melee. Plus two. One. A one? Uh, one, uh, one success. Six. Okay. Get him. All right. Give me a, uh, give me a D66 roll, please. 43. 43. Uh, and you are stabbing him, correct? Yeah, piercing blow through the head. <laughs> you, uh, as uh, you are attempting to do that, uh, you said a 43? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you stab into his eye as he yells out in pain. Ah! Wow. <laughs> And now he is broken on the floor, mumbling, crying. And we are out of initiative as you pretty much, pretty much, you didn't get the full stab through the cranium, but you definitely pierced his eye. All right. Cards! Cards! The fluffy will like walk into the the wedding, like grab the one leg of the dog, one leg of the guy, and start trudging out of the wedding <laughs> hall in the street. We'll take care of the garbage, and she just follows. <laughs> and I think at that point we're gonna go <laughs> for the night because that was a lot that happened at the end. Well, congratulations, party! You uh destroyed some Rust Brothers and a dog. Yay! We're heroes. You're heroes. Nobody's going to forget that wedding. <laughs> no one's, yeah, no one's ever going to forget that one. We saved them. <laughs> I mean, it was or blood. Yeah, it if was or blood. And if it's one thing that rotates, it's wedding crashers. Oh, <laughs> that's the <D4>. one. <laughs> <laughs> all right um so i guess uh before we end it tonight uh thanks again for stopping by and sticking with us i am gonna say that we are going to do a little bit of uh experience before we are done so after every session we see how we did uh with our experience and kind of gave it give it to the party to see how they did so first did you participate in the game if you did you get one xp point Bing, go ahead and give yourself a little ding. Did you defeat one or more monsters? Yeah. Yeah. The answer is yes. Dog. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that dog? I don't know. <laughs> Did you find a treasure? One gold or more? Friendship no. along the way. Friendship, no. 
Did you build a functioning a function to your stronghold? Not this time. Did you activate your pride? I didn't have one. No. But you have one now. I do. Yeah. What would you like it to be? Uh I think I am nobler than other people and the gods love me more. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, did you suffer from your dark secret? Answers are worth killing for. I did, uh, at some point I did want to do a coup de gras, which would have made me broken. So yes, I would suffer from my dark secret. Okay. Sac sacrificing people to a fire god. Mm. No. No, you're not lighting the wedding on fire? No? Okay. <laughs> I... Would I be allowed? Would I be allowed to say that I did that? Because that was my intent before, like the end of the session. But just to, would that be okay for me to say that that I suffered from my dark secret? Sure, we'll say that, and then we'll say that you're broken after you do it. Okay, sure. Uh, they are. Who are you choosing to coup de gras? Uh, skinny man. After he's brought outside, she'd be like, she'd just be like, "Thank you for the information," or some nonsense, and just go. Shh. And then yeah, and then immediately you're Yeah, because that was my because that was my last Yeah, that was my last empathy point. So she's just like she's like one horn, one horn, one horn, one horn, and just kinda okay. like yeah. super fit, focused on that. All right. So we'll have to remember that you're broken at the beginning of the next session. Did you risk your life for another PC? No. Okay, no, no. and finally, did you perform an extraordinary action of some kind? We'll go ahead and start with, we'll go opposite. Rope, did you perform an extraordinary action of some kind? I mean, slicing someone's arm off in one clean swing was pretty extraordinary, if you ask me. I'd say on, so. On the quick draw? Absolutely. <laughs> you get a point of XP. Not fair. No. I mean, mastery of Path of the Killer to three is pretty. Oh, actually, stealthy. yeah, that that is pretty cool. Like, <laughs> I can just be, tell people to do shit now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Fluffy. I, I caught a mouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. You know what? I, I am going to push for that one because you have been trying so hard to make those traps that you caught anything is impressive. I can for, it is impressive. For Not like what? Two, like trap. two or three sessions you've been trying to level up your traps and you finally did it. <laughs> Yay! And how about Merkel? Sword through the eye. That was impressive. I mean, he that called it out, and that's literally what he rolled. That's uh -huh. yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah, can't get any better than that. He pointed where that ball was going to go and plugged it into the outfield like all good goblin kids do. <laughs> it would have been pretty bad, right? If like it like... Yeah. <laughs> It would be pretty bad if it was like, I'm going for his eye and it ends up being like his foot. Like, I don't know, we would have had to Severed, explain it somewhere. Severed, no. <laughs> Throws his foot. All right. Okie dokie. Well, Wait, thanks very more. much. Oh, there is? Didn't we discover adventure site. a new adventure, adventure site? site? I always forget that one. Yes. Try to sneak it past us. Yay. Owie. All right. Thanks, everybody, for sticking with us. Uh, we are 20 Sides to Every Story. Uh, if you love to, you could join us in our Discord. Uh, please stop by. Uh, looks like we are rating 80s Dance Party. So come on by the Discord and let's go dance. Have a good night. Cha 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 cha